Oh, wait. You guys assumed I would have a no problem, no ear, no, no, nothing to affect the stream, live stream ever. Really, guys? Never. You guys always have to expect something will go wrong. But forget that. I'm here. What's important? It's got to figure out who the winner is, right? So, just wanted to say, yesterday uh, was the end of uh, of the of the challenge. Issue was um, it was my birthday, so I didn't go live. Sorry. But you know how I roll, guys. So let's say what's up to some people. Um, what's up, monkey? What's up, Crash? What's up, Flat Earth? Or Flat Accord Music? How you doing, sir? It's been a minute, man. How you been? Uh, what's up, Menace? What's up, about? What is that? Bondor? Uh, I got the screen's not too close. What's up, Amy? So here's what it is. Um, I wasn't going to... Uh, what's up, Blue? I see you in there, man. Uh, what I was going to do is... Uh, I was gonna, actually going to go live from my phone um, just because I hadn't had, again, computer wasn't hooked up again. Um, I, I, like I said before, I was finishing up in a move. Um, and I also didn't have a very good spot for a uh, connection, so I, I wasn't going to go. And then I found some parts, and I got a much better signal. So we're, we're here to have fun. Um, one of the things I wanted to do... So I'm gonna put, I got the link out there so you guys can join the Hangout. Hang on one sec, because I don't see the Hangout if you've already joined. Um, one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, get into... Well, what we're going to do right off the bat is we're going to pick this winner. Um, what's up, Crash? Can you hear me? Crash. Oh, my headphones aren't set up to him. There we go. What's up, sir? Uh, not, uh, uh, trolling flurfs and pissing them off. Seems like you, what you're doing pretty good of it. You're pretty do blah, 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 blah. Doing that pretty well, though, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. You should see my little short. Or actually, you can play it on here. I just uploaded it so I can use it in my live stream later. There's a nice little 40 second call out to Daniel Pratt with a screenshot of some videos or some comments that he added to my videos that he deleted 30 seconds after he posted them. Well, that would be because he's probably worried about that copyright strike uh, issue that uh, <laughs> Team Skeptic got into. It's pretty funny as far as I'm concerned. Maybe. But uh, yeah, um, one of the main things I wanted to do today. What's up, Sean? How you doing, sir? Hi. Pretty sure everyone is eager to find out who the Rumpus winner is. Uh, the Rumpus Challenge is, well, guess what? You guys are going to have to wait a little bit longer. Um, not in the sense of uh, another day, just towards the end of the stream. Uh, it's a good way to keep everyone here. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. That's, but it's my stream, so I can do that. And everyone who entered is only people that care, matter to it anyway, and they're going to stick around to find out when. Um, it will, it'll be in like 20 minutes. I just got to get everything together still. Like I said... I went from a uh, a four monitor system to now I'm on one, so it's, I'm very slow at what I do now. Um, but yeah, no. um, I I have picked the winner. I try, the winner is already it's done. But I wanted everyone to see who entered, everyone to see you know what I was judging from, so that way you know it does some kind of criteria to it. Um, again, if it starts buff the stream starts buffering, too bad. That's how I roll. <laughs> but uh more importantly i wanted to get into a topic first um just in, in the sense that you know it's been a minute and i want to know what's been going on i want to know if uh flat earth has been defeated take that as a no what <laughs> i was gonna say I, I, no. I thought i yeah. was muted and i wasn't no i hadn't been defeated yet still here huh yeah damn well, that's okay, because uh, if everyone, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure Sasha will be here today, tonight. Oh, no, he won't. Um, actually, he had something to do until 8, so maybe he'll jump in a little bit later. But um, I was reading over his uh, the, his debate format that he wants to set up, and it, it don't get no better than that. Now, all we got to no. do now, what's up? I said it was quite nice. I was reading it, too. Yeah, I think uh, now it's just about getting the ears on it, you know, eyes on it to uh, to see what he set up. 
Um, so as much as everyone can get that the word out there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I actually got to go get the link right now. I had the link ready to go. And then I signed off a of Discord, not thinking about it. Um, like I said, it's going to be open topic, open, open to anything. I don't care what we talk about. So, uh, uh, but one of the things, I mean, I think one of the biggest things going on right now is gravity when it comes to flat Earth first globe, this whole gravity thing. Would you guys agree on that? Yeah. Um, gravity and relative motion. Well, here's the thing. As far as I'm concerned, we only need to be talking about one thing. Isn't that, isn't that realistically how it is? I mean, if you think about it, of all these aspects, for instance, curvature. I can see where curvature is a is a almost a almost a point in which we need to stop talking about because we're we're not going to get anywhere with it. We all freaking know that. Um, the problem, one of the biggest issues I have, or I personally have, with talking curvature is, for instance, the horizon um, obstruction. It's been it's been explained already. I mean, it's to the point where um, it's explained to entirety. We can't explain any more about how obstruction works, how the horizon works, how you know our observer the observer height can show these things. Um, it, it's not a something may explain it later type situation like gravity, for instance. Um, I've said numerous times. Whether we know 75% of all there is to know about gravity, or we know 1% of all there is to know about gravity, we, it, what we know now, what we explain now is correct. It's how it works. General relativity explains it on a large scale, or the, the why? Yes. Wait, which one is it? I found pulling. You found what? I found proof of a pulling force. What's that? Uh, it's, uh, let me, uh, it's called polyethylene oxide. It's the uh, stuff they put on safety razors to make them slick. Ah, okay. Strip. And if you have a, a glass of it and you tip it and it tips over the edge, it will pull almost all of it out of the, out of the, the, the glass without you having to tip it over anymore. The it slinky pulls, effect. It, it pulls it out of the the thing. There's no pushing force involved. It's all pulling down toward the ground. Is that kind of like the slinky? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Sort of, but no. Okay. Yeah, sort of. But it actually, like, the molecules are very long uh, uh, polymer chains, and they actually pull down. Gravity pulls them down, and they pull each other down. There's no pushing involved at all. So, okay, so that's what you're just saying. But that, so, as that far as, wrong. so like I was saying, as far as I'm concerned, that's where we should keep expanding because it will also help us better. And maybe they can listen a little bit more. But reality is, I think we need to just tighten it up a little bit. All these yep. other small topics that we keep talking about is only turning circles. To tell, seek, and find what the fucking effects of gravity are again, it, it's, it's going to, it's going to, make me snap but at the same time it's uh i've already made it clear he's he's a null and void to my to the discussion anymore as far as i'm concerned and i'm gonna start calling those people out which is why i'm not a fair candidate to judge anymore um moderate yes judge no um hey channel how you doing hey blue thank you hey blue i'm here you can tell me i won now I'm not saying who won yet, <laughs> but I did decide this. Um, some of you guys may have saw from the the cell phone or the mobile live stream I was going to do. I'm picking two winners. There's not going to be just one. It's going to be two. Cool. Um, I'll praise the Q. I'll help you. <laughs> um, but like I said, it, it's uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be, I'll probably call off the winner. Uh, the winner's about eight. A clock so 20 minutes from now I'm trying to find what i was looking for where is it um, do, do we need blue? to find like a, a drum roll sound beat or something that's that would be up to you guys i i i don't need one <laughs> and if i did that'd be just one more headache i'd have to do to set up this live stream and everyone would have to wait to hear that because it probably wouldn't work either 
<laughs> oh, it's it's great. Uh, and my son said it best. He said, "Why don't you just set up everything and then not schedule it until you go live?" And I went, uh, "Yeah, that would be too easy." <laughs> that's, that's what I usually do. It's like, "Oh, hey, I'll be live in ten minutes. Hey, I'm live now." Well, for me, it's usually I'm going to go live at this time, and then an hour later, I'm ready. But the way I see it is like I want you guys to have community time, time to talk to each other, and and just reflect on what's going on. Man, so by community time, that means it's perfectly fair to gamble on what time you'll actually start, right? Yes, I, that you're more than welcome to do so. Man, when awesome. we spend, actually, we we do get along pretty well uh, yeah. here in the chat. Hmm? We spend quite a bit of time talking about you, as a matter of fact. <laughs> you, you can go back and read it. <laughs> uh, I gotta need to start going up to the top of this damn thing. Uh, let's see what you got to say. Um, what's up, Menace? How you doing, sir? Uh, you, I'm gonna say now. So here's what it is. So what I did is on um, my little Inkscape, I cropped out everyone's background. So what I feel would be more of an even even kill on what I'm looking at. And I will say for everyone who used a face picture, I know all your faces as good as it gets now. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you for everyone that did that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, just, just want to Could give you guys weird a about my face, John. I'm just saying I, I mean, my face a lot. I How mean, do you when, like me now? I'm just saying when you're you're taking out the background of an image and you get you have to get really close so you don't have to, you don't miss anything. I'm like staring oh, yeah. at pores. Uh, Sean, you were the creepiest. I will say that by far. If I <laughs> oh, I don't doubt that at all. Uh, you have this oh, I look. I should have into... so entered one before I shaved my beard. You should have. Wait, Crash, you didn't send me one. No, because I couldn't find a fucking red oh. shirt and everything that I own. Oh, okay, you good. Find I was a like... red block. That'd solve it. I'd have sure been you upset. didn't have any problems with pores in my picture. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yours was my favorite. <laughs> it's it's menace, menace over here. <laughs> I, I I was doing his last, and I went, "Wow, I just I'm too close to these people now." Yeah, menace got that down. Right. Even got the foliage in the background. Yeah, he looks good. Well, that was the other I, thing. I, was I saw. Good. I was gonna do a redneck version with like a plaid shirt and shit, but it's like 98 degrees here, and that just did not seem like any kind of fun. Oh wow! So that's why you didn't win. <clears throat> I was gonna put a red shirt on my pit bull, but I couldn't get somebody to hold still. I think that's a good thing. I think I'm happy. Hmm. I think you should be happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> that my dog has not got a sense of humor whatsoever. <sighs> Did you explain to him what it was for? Yeah, he doesn't listen. God damn it. Jeez, yeah. What is He's getting old and cranky like me, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> it, it happens. But uh, back to the, the topic at hand, um, and, and I don't mean the challenge, because, again, that will happen in a little bit. Um, I, I think I, what I'm hearing from a lot of people is frustration. Um, really going over the same information over and over and over again. Um, right now, what I'm seeing is gravity as this big quote unquote placeholder <laughs> for the topic of the discussion. Um, actually, Blue, you'd probably be really good at this. Do you feel that gravity is one of the better things to be talking about or, or is it actually too complicated? Because I know a lot of things we talk about. That's like us trying to talk about dark matter, dark energy. None of us are qualified. I think it's, absolutely, it's the absolute centerpiece of their argument. I think if they ever have to admit that it really exists, just about everything else falls like dominoes after that. I, th I what think about that's the why there's no uh, circumnavigational flight that's going on right now. I didn't even hear no. about that circumnavigational no. flight. We'll yeah, they're going to the videos about it. You watch them. They'll, that'll just be a hand wave dismissal. They will. They'll just ignore yeah. that. And then, okay, so then do you feel that, you know, so the people that are ignoring it, a, you know, Riley, or is that, how do I? It, is gravity too, too uh, difficult to discuss? No, I don't think it should be. Uh, I think you can make it impossible to discuss if you want to take it into the 
uh, to end into Einstein's field equations, but you don't need to go there. No. Well, that's the thing because no. there's a difference between the complexity in Newtonian and um, Einsteinian physics. They're using that as an excuse to to um, yeah. dismiss it, and it's yeah, too exactly. complicated. To, and it's too complicated to explain uh, to um, to explain to most people in that way. So that's why it's their centerpiece. Yeah, it, it's a convenient uh, uh, truth for them, an inconvenient truth for us, I guess. Um, it is very complicated, and they just use that well, as a, thing, an excuse over and over again. What you got to get them to admit to, and I have yet to figure out how to do that, is that you don't have to understand everything just I to be able to understand anything. Hey, look, it's P. Mars. Yeah, yeah. P. Yeah. Mars. <laughs> good, good. So you, P. Mars. Dipshit. Yeah. <laughs> you were saying? Go ahead. Um. What was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> I, I saw P. Mars and went brain dead. Yeah, that's usually what happens. <laughs> Um, you were kind of saying the the depth of the conversation, whether it's actually worth actually listening to. Hey, welcome back, P. Mars. Christ. Goodbye again, P. Mars. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we're ready yet. So, for instance, I kind of gave reference to uh, curvature a minute ago. Um, talk, you know, when we were discussing curvature to to a flat earther, it kind of being harder to to me, it seems harder to show curvature. Than it is to explain how gravity works in a sense. Um, for instance, Chris Berry. Chris Berry is almost impossible to talk to about curvature because he believes it's all atmospheric and won't listen to the fact that just the fact that you know things start start becoming obstructed at the same it's at the same rate at your observer height at a distance, which means we know it's not just atmospheric, but the mirages that we see show that there are at certain times different effects to, to me it seems pretty pretty easy to figure out it can't be atmospheric optics for why things are, are being being obstructed yeah of course it, it, they insist on the shittiest possible uh, observations that they can find like chris berry they, yeah that's exactly yeah, like, what we're talking about that's what, that's yeah. what chris does mm -hmm. and which is it, it, it i don't get it wolfie 6020 just put one up today of the bathurst uh, lighthouse <laughs> where and it's undeniable when you look at that at that video but i guarantee you if you show it to chris he'll he'll just uh start talking about the height of the fucking waves or some bullshit compression it, it make it, it it really makes zero sense. Like I said, it, it's, and I wish I could get a flat earther on here, like myself, like I was when I was a flat earther, who would be clear on what's reality of it. I had seek and find do it one time, and I don't even realize. I don't even think he realized he did it, um, because one of the conversations was observations, and the only way for a flat Earth world to exist, or these flat Earth quote unquote observations being made would be that we do not see the same observation that'd be the only possible way so i, I gave a seek and find three questions um honest to god i don't even crack. remember what it was um, hey hey morris welcome back he's a fucking crackhead look at him so i don't even remember exactly what the uh questions were but it was along the lines of um He's not welcome. Do we see? Do, yeah, no, he's just ridiculous. No. Do we see things obstruct at the same distance? Stuff like that. Just it was very blatant questions that would mean that we we observe the same things. Therefore, you can't say it does different. Um, I think we need to pin them to that first. I mean, we got to get as basic <laughs> as it gets. I mean, when you say the you know sunrise sunset. The sun, you know, the sun appearing to hit the horizon. I mean, how can that be possible? I mean, is that's obviously what we all see. There, if no ands or buts about it. Then you go into the what it takes to have that appearance of the the sun hitting the horizon, and flat Earth won't be able to explain it. Unless you got Arwen out there saying, "Well, there's only there isn't only one sun. We see it everywhere." 
then it, you it, asshole. Then, then, <laughs> then even more, it needs to be, how are you having these, how are you making these observations? Because it, I think, um, I heard blue the other day was saying it to somebody that was on the panel. Have you, have you seen these observations? Like for instance, we, um, or was it, I think, uh, I forget whose panel you were on, but you were on someone's panel and you were, and they were saying, uh, have you ever seen, or have you ever been to space type question? And the reality of it is, is there's no flat earther that's been to space to verify there is no space or been to the dome to verify there's a dome or anything of the sort. So what makes, I mean, I would love for a flat earther to come on and explain to me what makes their arguments valid. They don't even have to give me evidence for a flat earth. Just why is your explanation valid? Yeah, I'd like to know why the rules aren't the same for both sides. Yeah, uh, and, and they're yeah. certainly not. And, and I think that's the very what, first thing that's going to come out of any of them is you're presupposing a sphere. Well, excuse me, but you're presupposing a flat thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, who's doing? Okay. It, who's guilty of presupposing here? Excuse me. Who's presupposing a non-sphere? Well, yeah. wouldn't either. Well, matter of fact, aren't we not? Because I mean, doesn't that mean without evidence? Uh, yeah, it would mean without evidence. It would mean it's your starting. It would mean it's a starting point for your reasoning. The thing is, the observations that we have, we're not starting with a presupposition of it flat for the most part. Like the star trails, you don't have to presuppose flat. You can derive flat from the observation. Well, but that's my bad. Um, globe. I mean, we're not starting globe. We can. That's it. We can um, derive globe from the observation. Fuck. Well, yeah, you have to. At some point, you end up presupposing. No matter no matter what you do, uh, let's do Eratosthenes at three different latitudes. It, now we've got th three. Now we got three sun angles. Let's it, plot those things and see what they fit on. If they fit a flat thing, that's fine. Isn't it okay to presuppose? I mean, isn't it okay if, if so? It, say isn't it really it okay? is. Yeah, isn't it okay for me to go? Okay, I have no idea what's going on, no idea at all. You tell me it's a globe. Okay, then I can take my observations and put them against your thought of a globe and fact check them or flatter. Yeah. Yeah, and every experiment will have presuppositions. Um, even with the Eratosthenes experiment, you have to presuppose that you have this, you have to presuppose your measurements are, are what you think they are. You have to presuppose that your tools will give you the appropriate measurement. You have to presuppose that your senses um, are in, is it, your senses are with reality. You have to presuppose that the sun is one, one body. Like there's a bunch of presuppositions attached to it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Not at all. So if someone says that I'm I'm doing so, I should say, and yeah, and my observations fit. They seem yep. to think that presupposition is the same as begging the question. And really it only gets down to that if you reduce it down to the basis philosophy where you're talking about a person's most basic beliefs. They're just, uh, they're essentially taking a, a form of presuppositional argument and then as it, and then applying it to you. Well, they're Which, asserting confirmation bias is what they're what it comes really comes down to. They're saying you already had your mind made up, and that's you, fine. You had your mind made that's up fine. going into this, uh, that it, and and you just set out to prove us that, it, that it was spherical. No, I, I didn't. I made two measurements at two different latitudes. And then I tried to see which which way it fit the best. Turns out the sphere worked. The flat thing didn't. Yep. That, and that's. Are you watching the live chat, Sean? Yeah, yeah, I am. I okay. Was, kind of. <laughs> if What's you're, happening if you're, in the live chat? If you're seeing something, let me know. Uh, I, I'm seeing it, but I'm not. Sean. Sean G, please do. I love how you really took the most important 10 points and went systematically to address them, especially the why is gravity so strong it holds the ocean but not a butterfly. Oh, yeah. he's talk Okay, if, are you, is he talking about when I was a flat earther? I'm not sure. I'm trying to get the context for it, but I, I haven't got back that far to his previous comments yet. Oh, who said it? Um, who said it? Uh, SCU. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I can explain 100% by that. Um, I when I was a flat earther and I was talking gravity, I, I didn't understand it enough to be making the comments that I was making. That, I mean, that's the reality of it. Um, 
and I can tell you right now, for a very long time, I, I was that was a very big question I had. How can gravity be so strong, hold water, ocean down, if not a butterfly? Then it was explained to me that, you know, well, it's only, it's only the gravity, the pull of gravity is only going to be equal to the mass it's pulling on or it's pulling an effect with, you know what I mean? The mass versus mass, you know, um, the realization that it's, first of all, it's not very strong. Matter of fact, it is the weakest. How do I know? Put your arm up, put your arm down, put your arm up again. Look, see, that's how weak it is. You're able to go against it, <laughs> but the reality of it is, it is a constant. It's always there. Oh. And you can't show me okay. something that would be different. And and here's uh, the other Sean, problem. Density is not it. Uh, Sean, they're talking about um, Professor Dave's video with the 10 points dismantling Flat Earth. Ah. Yeah, you did good. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I, haven't, I was unable to do it. Actually, um, if there's well, no... Well, you did a couple of days ago, right? If there's no buffering, I'll play it. Um, Shout out to Fred Knotts for uh, dropping that info in the chat. Well, I think that was uh, someone. I don't know who was. Someone else was talking about it as well. What info? Um, Professor Dave's uh, latest upload. Sen Senalu. Sen Senalu was talking about it. Uh, Fred Knotts is the one who gave us the uh, gave us the name of the video. Not the name of the well, video. Well, they almost booted you. Got my finger on the trigger. <laughs> What's up, Jose? And oh, um, I'm for I'm doing 480 because uh, I wasn't sure if this Wi-Fi would be able to handle the stream, and I didn't want to give you. I didn't want to be like Dean and force you guys to try to try to keep up with a, bu a buffering stream the whole damn time. <laughs> I, know. I throw, I take a chance and I throw it in 720, even if it's Wi Fi, but it's all right. I get a little bit of a lag a couple times a day, but it's not that bad. So I'll, I'll let it go at 720. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 um, if I could change it, I would, but honestly, it was like last minute. Like I said, I, I up until you guys heard my voice, I was scrambling. <laughs> I was trying to get stuff all set up. Um, let me see. Did they put the link into that? Uh, to that guy, in, in, if you guys put the link in the, in the into the uh, chat, I'll grab it and I'll play it. Um, I, for some reason, I just don't think he's the type of guy that's going to be copyright and striking anybody. No, he's pretty chill. Yeah, he seemed cool. There's, an, um, actually, there's I, a new I, I, name. There's a new name in the chat I never seen. So only, so. Only. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. It was up, Sally. How you doing, sir? Yeah. Um, I was gonna say. Uh, oh, there's yeah, a... actually. I've I talked to Professor Dave. Um, remember when he he I guess found <laughs> flat Earth and did a video, and I guess he was on with Globusters, something like. I don't even know what happened. He was on with that B core. Yeah. Um, I actually sent him an email explaining to him that he's pretty much going to get nowhere and why he gets booted. Cause he said he had tried to get to do an upload and he got booted. And then his, um, the upload actually got, uh, taken down that he had done. Um, <laughs> so I sent him an email explaining why, he, you know, Hey, you're too smart basically. <laughs> and I let him know, you know, I had some contacts to flat earthers if you wanted me to help him out. And he, he declined, they just posted but, that link in chat. Yeah, no, I have I just pulled it up. Um, hey, everyone, so some of you may be aware. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah I'm talking to him. He's a really cool dude. The link. Shit. What's that again? Oh, uh, letter it usually, it usually mutes when you open a link. Yeah, I know. Uh, you have to actually set it. I'm not sure if anyone noticed YouTube did an up, uh, uh, upgrade again, so you may want to check all your stat, you know, like your uh -oh. notification stuff. And uh -huh. But they did a. Oh, yeah, upgrade. it's all jacked up. Yeah, they what did happened a, was, uh, What happened was. Uh, uh, Globusters or, or Professor Dave did a video about Globusters. Globusters got pissed off, did a false copyright strike. Yes. And uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, then, that's when I, I had emailed him at that time too about it. I was like, hey, there's other people you can talk to. Because he was trying, I remember he was trying to still talk to Flat Earthers, but he was like, I give up. I don't want to do this anymore. And that's why I was like, whoa, he's still doing. I, I saw one a few weeks ago. I didn't think he was going to be doing any more Flat Earth stuff. But it seems he's been pulled into the into the the, the web of flat earth. Ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> hey Sean, hey, I don't have I mean I don't 
don't have much to say. I just came in to hang out in the background. Yep. If anybody soundly or anybody else of Flat Earther in the chat wants to join, just let us know in the chat, and I'll I'll be more than happy to drop for any of you. I'll keep listening to you. I'm just hanging out here. Cool, cool. Yeah, and I just want everyone to know our, our my best friend Sasha's here, so be on your P's and Q's as please. Um, and, and I don't even like saying his name. I, I don't even like saying the name. But uh, Pimar is if you do anything stupid on this panel while he's here, I will. I, I'll, I'll go to the long as far as I have to go to make sure you you pay for that because there is a kid here and there's you are not gonna affect that at all. You are going to only make yourself look a fool. So, with that said, Sasha, um, I did go through all your uh, panels full, Sean. Panels oh. full. Oh, that means I don't even have to watch it right now. Um, I, I went over all the everything you mm -hmm. had done in the in the Discord, and I will tell you right now, perfect. It's as good as it's gonna get. Now all we gotta do is get people's ears on it and people knowing that it's there and yeah, uh, signing up for it. Um, I think what we'll do are you are you are gonna be around after the stream um, um, for a little bit today? Yeah. Okay. Um, then I think we'll after this stream, I'll probably just in this hangout start a new hangout and then we'll do a run through of discord we'll just kind of go through it and everything you see on the screen you can discuss okay um i think that'd probably be the best so and sasha's putting the link out in the chat uh for the discord um yeah. and yeah and pete just shout up you should join that i think you'd like that uh debate style who pete uh yeah pete <laughs> That man's never brought evidence, and Pete's not even allowed on my panels anymore. He's on right. he's on permanent uh, he's on panel restriction until further notice, <laughs> until until he learns how to take his ADD, ADHD medication and not just decide to rant on for hours, because that's on, my that's for me. I'm, well, it I'm wouldn't let him. At, it wouldn't let him rant on for hours. He'd have to keep it nice and concise. Oh yeah, I was talking about on the panel. You talking about your style of he? Yeah. He, Pete wouldn't last a minute. <laughs> not sure if you noticed or not, Pete. The last time Pete said observa um, evidence, he he showed. Oh geez, I don't even. <laughs> he showed his observation on Google Pro of the moon, and I had to explain to him that both are are sphere observations. How do, how do you make a flat? How do you make an observation that something's flat and or not real, if Everything is a is a from a a, a sphere observation. It makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, what I was trying to, to explain, or actually trying to explain when he was telling me that, because what I my first question was when he was trying to, blue. I think it was he was trying to explain this to you, wasn't he? Uh, could have been. Yeah, uh, the first thing I asked when he said he had evidence of something on the moon, I said, Pete. Um. You you have you saw this through a telescope, and he wouldn't answer me. <laughs> I was like, hey, uh, I noticed he didn't answer. So I asked him again, hey Pete, uh, did you uh, look through that through a telescope? And he said no. Right off the bat, I knew something was up. I knew there was a reason why mm -hmm. to question it. And then he pulled up Google Pro, and I went no. And he went no no, no let, you haven't even seen what I'm trying to show. You. I went no 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 no. Do you realize that your observations are made from a sphere? Looking at another sphere, you know, Google Pro, the, those are those are those are those are globe. That's a globe, and that's a sphere. Uh, how are you making these flat observations on that? And again, that goes back to the observation thing. You can't be seeing something different than I'm seeing unless you can show me evidence for that, and you can't, which means that we are observing the same thing. So then, how does your explanation make any sense? How can you break it down for me? They yeah. won't. And, and that's why I decided I can't be a judge in your little debate forum because I've already I got enough add... judges. I've got plenty well, of judges. Geez, sorry. <laughs> what I, it, I, I want answers. Again, when I, when I left Flat Earth, I, I yeah. said it. I want, to, I, I want more answers than I was looking for when I was. I want a thousand oh. more now. Actually, Sasha, that's a good question. Um, on the judges, I actually can't see who the uh, judges or debaters are for Flat Earth. I can only see the Globers. Yeah, that's because none have signed up yet. Like, yeah. at oh. least, like, officially. Okay, now I got you. Cool. Because, yeah, I've, I've 
right. I'm just putting in everybody that I know for sure has signed up. Okay, I thought it might have been a bot reporting issue because uh, yeah. we have different roles. Yeah. All right. Well, well, you. Well, I know you have a lot of this. You know, you go on uh, what's called um, lemons uh, Discord, and not not oh, yes. uh, not a. When I'm not talking about Lemon Bird, it's a different one. Uh, you may want to like, talk to talk to him and his side his Discord. Do you you have? Are you in his Discord? Um. If not, I am. I'll talk to him. Lemonier. Yeah. Uh yeah, I can I can join that like. Letters so he has like good. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, but the <laughs> thing is, is that there's like a the same way there's like this whole breed of other glovers on Discord, like these. There's a, like a whole other breed of flat earthers that don't come to YouTube either. It's weird. How they're oh, flat dude. earthers, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. Really. Drop a link in Jim Panda's channel. It'll fill with lurks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> One of the things that I'm noticing that actually is, you would see, I've been told, oh, well, you're not having flat earthers on your panel. And, and, and I said it before, um, not, you know, I'm not getting as many as I was, but that's also because the ones that were here and, the, or, you know, the ones that are here and that I've been openly talking about, Chris Berry, Seek and Find, Mind of God, they're, they're, they're not real flat earthers. They, and if they are real flat earthers, they're completely full of shit and they shouldn't be listened to. Um, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, this is information based. Um, I'm here to learn. And, um, and if there are no flat earthers here, that means there's no flat earthers with information to help me learn. Oh, All right. Well. Uh, to the chat real fast. Multi Tom Tom, you're skating on thin ice there. You've already been removed from at least one YouTube channel for the insinuation you're about to make. Don't fucking do it. Here, I agree. I tried to block him, but I can't. Oh, he, yeah, Sean, why does he have mod? Uh, everyone has mod in here. Um, <laughs> that's only point, so but... I don't ever have to worry about others, but um, it will be changing pretty damn soon. Uh, hey, Sean, real, hey, Sean, real quick. Multi Tom Tom, you agreed to a debate with me on Team Skeptic's channel. Are you still down or are you backing out? Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, he, he won't. He's, he's made maybe five appearances in the five years he's been around. Um, and I can tell you right now, this he'll, he's going to get about three words out and embarrass himself, and you'll see why. Um, I don't remember who he debated last time, but it was embarrassed. Like I was embarrassed for him. Well, the funny thing is that he actually tried to call me out, so I uh, pretty much destroyed him in the chat. So I told him let's debate it uh, on the. On a channel. That's amazing. So he agreed. He, he agreed for Thursday, so we'll see what happens. I think that he uh, he does that because you know what he did. He also called out Daryl. You know Daryl, the, the he's the, the new guy that's been doing the live streams. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he called him out as well, and I, yeah, I explained no. to him. Um, like I said, Multi is a he's a flat earth troll that's just been around a while. Uh Vonder uh Vonder was it was Tommy that was the last person to debate him and absolutely destroyed him. Pro yeah, it was it who's uh yeah, whose uh channel was that on? Because I, I remember it and I heard bits and pieces of it, but like I said, multi Tom Tom is he's probably the Team worst. Skeptic or uh fight the flat earth channel, I believe. Well it was a while ago though, right? Welcome yeah, to Tom Tom's Math Parland. I wish. I, there's, <laughs> there's no way. It, it'd have to be his alter ego because you can't be as dumb as multi and, and come up with flat earth. I or, want to know why nobody wants to debate me one on one or play anymore. I'll debate you. I, oh, I told God. you. And I, me and Jose talked about it one time. And that's, I think, I think that's where his his fish came from. I'm not going to be an alter ego. I'm just going to let you know now. I, I just remember enough and I know. Certain people that don't have good arguments that I'll, I'll, I'll argue, I'll debate with just for the fun of it. Crash, I, in fact, Crash, I actually told you I would debate with you because I did that with uh, Cruz and Jay and embarrassed him. And you did it, and you broke my C4. You broke my Jimmy. Yeah, 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 him too. <laughs> You're next, and I'm going to do that anytime. We can do it right now if you want to. The problem is, is you're not realizing the realization of it. You can't have a debate with somebody that that's information is always wrong. 
it doesn't work that way. Well, no, it's already. You, you you'd mentioned he can find earlier. I actually haven't seen him in a while. Where's he been? Uh, he's around. He he doesn't. He won't. Sh- he's. I guarantee you. He's been in here watching at some point, but he won't say anything unless he'll probably will if we say his name. Um, but the realization is that uh, he he's he's as fake of a flat earther as it gets. Not only does he not understand anything that you couldn't possibly ever get an evidence quote out of him ever. I swear That's- to God, if you ask me, is water a natural level? One more F done. And that's what I. That's how I know he's 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 either, and and here's a realization: he's either insanely stupid, or he's doing it on purpose. And those are the only choices of it. He doesn't think it's flat. He doesn't understand how it could be flat to be even saying that. It's impossible. He just doesn't understand it. He doesn't. If he has to ask the questions he's asking, if he's so below the curve in understanding, the globe. That there's no way he could def- that he could deny it being a globe because he doesn't understand what he's even denying. And I've called him out numerous times on that. I actually put up my channel for that. I told him if you can, if I ask you, you answer three questions honestly, that ha- that show anything for flat Earth. Not even it doesn't even need to be the uh, undeniable evidence. It's just something that would curve towards it. I'll give up my channel, and he wouldn't even do that. That's so I know damn well what he's all about. He's the same thing as Mind of God. Mind of God is in this world where he's trying to figure things out. He found Flat Earth, and he likes to argue. He wants, All Mind of God wants to do is get people to his channel so he can talk about how shitty the government is. The problem is it's not working. How shitty is the government? Pretty damn shitty. <laughs> they don't care. All about their money. That's the thing about the government. It doesn't work for themselves. It doesn't work for anyone else. Hmm? Yeah. Well, the problem is, is that they're... All right, Malta, you have officially made yourself void of channel. Good job, buddy. Yeah, our form of government is by far the worst form of government you could ever have, except for all the other ones. Yeah. yeah it's... When it comes down to it, it's either you're... You, you either don't care to want to know, or you, or you have to at least see some of it. It's the issue is it's the same issue as chemtrails, same issue as globe denying. Um, the people that take it too far. Yep, that has to be uh, the second or third channel I've seen Tom Tom get deleted from from doing exactly this. I think yeah. he's trying to find a way out of the debate circles just by just by making himself completely. Uh, untouchably bad. Yeah, he's trying to. He he's no longer the center of attention troll, uh, or you know, sort of center of attention. He that's what he's used to. He used to being. Everyone knows who Malta Tom Tom is. He's been around forever, and he's a troll. He wants everyone to know it. Problem yeah. is, is no one cares. No one cares. Yeah, I'm sorry to have interrupted with that. Back to topic. Oh, I, I don't. I don't mind. Like I said, open topic. I don't care if you guys change the subject. I'm, matter of fact, we just changed the subject again anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother hey, me. Can I, can you I know what? Out? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. T- Tom, Tom, you're as shitty as the government. If not, can shittier. I call out somebody? Can I call out somebody? Yeah. Uh, so I was watching. I don't know if it was last night or the night before. I'm sorry, it's raining like crazy. So hopefully, it's not too bad. Uh, yeah. I was watching Daryl Daryl Berry's uh, stream. He was with, a, if I'm not mistaken, Loken and Maxwell. Maxwell, Maxwell, mm-hmm. and they were. He had a special show about outer body experience or some shit like that. Yeah, that's which what I was just. Debate about. I was just listening on to you know something in the background, but he went. He went to talk about uh, telekinesis for a little bit. He said, "Oh, I was exploring telekinesis, and and one time, you know, I, I started from zero, whatever, and I was. I did a little experiment. I put a, a cup of water and I put a needle on it." And I start every single day for hours trying to move this needle until a few months after I was able to move the needle, to spin the needle at will. If I wanted to spin the needle to the right or to the left, the needle would spin at will. And I was over here so pissed off listening that it at work. I say, you are full of shit. If you don't present me evidence for this shit, I say you are full of shit. So this is just a telltale story, you know. Just a joke story, uh, uh, personal experience 
which I do not believe in, and I called Daryl out to present evidence for this needle spinning from him, not the find a video on YouTube. Oh, some people is doing this all the year. I did the same thing. I called Bush it, and I'm sorry, but I'm just, it's my take on it. I don't uh, know, but really have, off topic. Have you, talk, have you talked to him about it? No, I haven't. That was like two days ago. That was his last stream, if I'm not mistaken, and I was at work. I was busy to, to join. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was on my panel, but I was pretty much speechless. I didn't know what to say. Oh, you were there, Blue? Yeah. I well, I mean, I mean, I give me a little awful. credit. Yeah, give me a little yeah. credit for what I just say. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of right, right? Oh, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. Daryl's a nice guy. I didn't want to. Uh, uh, at the moment, I didn't. <laughs> to, to tell you the truth, I was shocked just sitting there listening to it. And, you know, so I chose to let it go with, wow, that's amazing, which is just another way of saying, oh, bullshit. But, <laughs> well, uh, here, here, here's the problem. Or not even, it's not even the problem. Here's the thing. Um, I, I too, I like Daryl. I like him a lot. I have had an issue um, since he told me that he piloted a, a, a spacecraft. Um, I, I wasn't quite sure where he was coming from, um, but I do know for a fact he, he truly believes it because he, prior to the live streaming, he actually goes and does seminars about this stuff. Now, I obviously can't say he's just full of shit because I don't know. But I, I hear myself, too, would like to see some evidence of the things he's been talking about just for the, the relevance of it. Because even worse is that he's a very well-spoken person. He's very knowledgeable of the topics that we're talking about. And then he does what I call the curve, where he uh, goes from reality and then dives off to uh, chemtrails and shit like that. And uh, I, I, too, have been reluctant to say something, but I, I think I want to. Yeah, no, he he is a different kind of conspirator mind, you know. Not not be, not being disrespectful for the term, but we all have a little bit of a conspiratorial mind. So he's a different kind of animal. He he's a, he got this approach about UFOs and other body experiences, telekinesis, all that kind of weird shit. But I mean, he's cool. He's all right, personal mm -hmm. as a person. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. More articulated, but is he a little full of shit? I think he's very full of shit in some things, you know. <laughs> well, we'll put it this way. Or well, here's the problem, Jose. How full of shit were you when you were a flat earther? Not towards the end. When you were a flat earther. I, I, I mean, I, me, I was full of shit, hundred percent, oh, without well, yeah, knowing it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Without knowing it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, and and that's kind of where I, why I don't just write people off like that because it goes, well, uh, I believed it was flat. Like I, I was in a oh, point exactly. where I was like, I, I know it is, and then you come to the realization differently. That's kind of where it's like, which one is it? Yeah. Damn it, which one? <laughs> and he might he might have had a lot of these experiences. He might have had a lot of these experiences and and have some fucking really credible evidence for some things that we are not aware of of these you know outer planets and UFOs and shit like that. But I haven't looked too deep into that, you know. So yeah, he gotta be hurt. Yeah, I want to know more about where he's coming from before I go off on him, but. Uh... I can't imagine any of that far fish shit myself. It just makes no sense. Yeah, it's Oh looky here. Look at very confusing. Guys, I found a how to uh telekinesis video. But does it show you really? does it actually do telekinesis? Uh I, I don't know, but the comments are pretty funny. <laughs> because there's one thing, it's about some kind of uh uh no magnetism but uh the static that you that your body have. If I'm able to move a straw, you know, pull it to my finger. I put a water bottle, uh, like a Pepsi or Coke bottle with water, and I put a straw balance in the top of the lid, and I put my hand close to the tip of the straw, and the straw would be attracted to my hand. So it's kind of a, some kind of a force, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know static it's... or whatever, but that's totally not nothing to do with telekinesis. Yeah, that's gravity. electrostatic. The amazing Randy. That's gravity, Jose. You're using gravity. Okay. The, the amazing, <laughs> the amazing Randy is a is a. Uh, I'm not sure if he was a magician, but he had a. Uh, basically, his career was offering, uh, like psychics and people who claim telekinesis, a million dollars if they can prove it, and he they they show him what what they've got, like one guy stuck spoon or stuck metal things to his chest, 
It's like he was a human magnet. I remember that. He said, okay, here, now we're going to sprinkle talcum powder on your chest. And I'd do it. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't do it. So I remember that guy. He made a living debunking people. Hmm? I- Turns out you don't even have to use talcum powder. Um, usually those people are on like two or three days without showering when they can do that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Or just some moist yeah. day, you know, if they're just sweaty a little bit, it'll you know, make your skin tacky. Yep. Okay, so I am pretty sure most of you, everyone wants me to shut up and, and, and explain uh, who I've chosen. Um, so I had, I think probably four more or three more entries um but actually those people actually said they didn't want their faces on here so i had to explain that um i can't have a headless rumpus so they graciously stepped down so i do thank them um thank you guys Uh, i won't say your names i promise i will later on (laughs) um but i'm pretty sure you guys are ready to find out who the winners are we are. You are. I feel, I feel like you're missing some. I, I I thought I was too, so I went back, and that was what the the the, the issue was when I uh, didn't do it right off bat, and so I went back and went through all my emails, went through the Discord, went through my uh, messenger. The thing is, is that there was there was eleven, but like I said, there was three that said, "Hey, uh, I didn't realize." That I didn't think that my face was going to be up there, so um, can you take me down or put a face on it for me? And I went, no, I can't put a face on it for you. And they graciously declined uh, entry. So that's why there's only eight now. Oh, okay, whatever. I do apologize. And hey, I get was people... It, was it graciously, though? Was it graciously? They tried. Let me see. So, yeah. M.A., you, did you put one in? I don't know. I think I have minutes I'm remembering. I don't think I did. No, you did. I, this this between, is the first time I'm hearing of it. So no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because between you and Menace, because I see your guys' name, but for some odd reason, I always put you guys together, even though it's kind of impossible to do so. <laughs> but uh, enough. Really? Why be... you got to do me like that, bro? <laughs> All right. So you guys ready? I'm going to go to my Inkscape, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slowly but surely delete the ones who did not win. Just for that, I'm taking my $2 back. <laughs> Wait, did you do a super chat, man? God damn you. I didn't see it. What did it say? Here, hang on. I'll get to it. Hang on. Oh, Carlos didn't enter this? Carlos is a winner of himself. No, he didn't. He didn't uh, officially. Yeah, Carlos kind of... I thought you said there were two winners. There is two winners. Are we just playing the elimination game right now? Yeah. I thought it'd be fun. It's like The Bachelor. (laughs) Exactly. So we have three left. It's like the worst part ever, right? Because it's just sitting here, it's waiting. I'm already bored because I didn't win. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> you may not have won the contest but you all want but you want our hearts all hail q all hail q all hail q thank you my children bless you i got to be the first person to comment on q's video earlier i felt special and i will share one second i'm going to delete the last one what do you think of that video I think he should exactly. I I thought it was funny because I knew that they had dropped that. I'd been trying to find the original full version of that video for a while since Uh Lily brought it up because I knew they dropped something on that fucking container card to distort it. So, is there a drum roll for this one? Can you give me a drum roll there, uh, Crash? (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, our winners (laughs) are. There's going to be a menace here. And Tesla's Apple. I will discuss with you guys uh, the end result. Uh, Your guys' wonderful prize, because you guys actually have to pick. And uh, I don't know if you guys want to be admitting to picking these prizes, but I'm going to announce everything. And I will announce the winners again tomorrow and what they have won. 
because I only have one thing for one person, but both of them are going to get the same thing. So that's how it's going to work. So, Menace, congratulations, my friend. So wait, the winner gets their iPod. face on Rumpus's body? Say again? Did, you, was, was, did the winner get the face on Rumpus's body? Is that how that worked? Um, the winner it was a rumpus alike contest, so you had to give me your best rumpus uh, impression, and that's how it worked. Um, I actually had three other people help me pick, so it wasn't it wasn't on me. Actually, I, I was I had other actually picked completely different winners. So okay, because I was gonna say I'm glad I didn't enter them. Oh, you should have. It would have been great. <laughs> yeah. did, did they win fifteen year old iPod knockoff from China? Say again. So did they win 15-year-old iPod knockoffs from China? Oh, abs- no, man. No, what the hell? <laughs> is, it bad that I, is it bad that I would still take that? Yes. It, okay. it, no, it's, it's basically it's going to be either you're either going to have to pick between Best Buy or AMC movie stuff. Those are your choices. What do you, what do you guys think? You're going to get like a shuttle ride, like the first moon ride like to the moon? That ain't going to happen. I think they should get like a debate with PJ. Well, that's a punishment. I've already said what I. It's it's gift cards. <laughs> they they just have to pick which gift card they want, <laughs> and then give me their information of how to send it to them. Or actually, no, I don't have to. Actually, uh, I can give them the card code if that's what they want. But uh, yeah. Debate with PJ is easy. All you gotta do is let him talk, and you won the debate. Well, then you gotta find a platform for the, for him to talk. Yep, because it won't be on my channel anymore either. Wait, he made it out to your channel? Yeah, he's been on there like twice. Ooh, bad mistake. I did it because... He's you know, moving on up. See, I, I I figured it would be all right for him to do that kind of stuff when I was there, but uh, or on mine, I didn't think anyone would let him. Usually he gets kicked off of panels pretty quick. I don't know if... I don't really know of any um, debate ship formats that'll have him on. Um, Modern Day Debate may be the only people... That would allow him on because they just haven't run into him. Hey, so, hey guys, uh, give me. I'm gonna take about five minutes. Um, you guys talk amongst yourselves. All right. Thank you. Where okay. do that? Where's the airplane at? Canadian man? bacon is not real bacon. <laughs> What's that, Blue? I said, where's the airplane at? Have you seen it lately? Uh, which one? The one. The. Yeah. The. Yeah, flight. that one. Uh, well, I tried to try to get it on flight radar, but it's, it wasn't in the air. I, I didn't the, know if it was the circum, good or not. The polar polar circum. Yeah. yeah. One. Yeah, they were screaming read, it. I can't read the map, but it's back in the air. It's only at thirty-four thousand feet, though. Okay. He's, well, he's heavy right now, so that that might make sense. Yeah, they took off uh, like twenty minutes ago. Wait, wait yeah, where, where did they? Where did That's they it. land? Because weren't they up in the air already? Kazakhstan. Um, yeah, when you're heavy, you got to you got a you got an issue with altitude limitations. As he burns off some fuel, he'll climb on up. By the way, uh, Sasha, good to see you again. I think uh, we were on a panel together a while ago. Where? Yeah. Could have been. You probably don't remember. I would be surprised yeah. if you remember. Yeah, I, I don't. They're not showing so, their Sasha, at the moment. I, I did get signed up for the debate thing, right? Yep. You're on that. So again, Menace? Okay, I was drinking the other day, so I couldn't remember if I got everything checked off. They're not showing their airspeed at the moment, but earlier it was like over 800 miles an hour. Hmm. Yeah, it can be in the jet stream. What what are they trying to find with the flight? Like, what are their main goals? Of the flight. Set a world record. Speed record. Just time time record. Speed record for? Circumnavigating the globe, north to south. (laughs) Quickest time. It's not speed, it's time. I, I got on the stream and it was just plagued with flat earthers and it was it wasn't a yeah. <laughs> positive they're already trying either. to pick it apart. Oh, wow. like, they're already trying to pick it apart but uh, I'm jumping out of here guys because my phone's going to already die I'll be streaming in about an hour see you guys right. 
All right, Crash. See y'all later. All right, Crash. Yeah, there was, watch, there, watch there was one point where, where it was, it was the camera glitched a little bit, and I think it was like Infinite Plane Society or something said, green screen glitch, and it's like, there wasn't any green, and why would they need a green screen? <laughs> That's all right. This uh, circumpolar navigation is supposed to be exactly what Southern Israelite uh, needed in order to ditch the Bible and become a full globe believer, but I don't think he's actually going to go with, through with it. <laughs> No, it'll just be a pile of excuses and yeah. hand wave dismissals. Speaking of Sasha, flat earthers are also like Go ahead, flat Lance. earthers think they should do this differently to appease them or something. Well, they they actually have it in their heads that anybody really gives a shit what they think. Well, you didn't take them all with you, so they can't be accurate, right? Yeah. I think what's hilarious is that they actually think that NASA owes them an explanation for anything. It's like it's their job to prove the globe to them. Like, what would you say the percentage of the population is that's flat earthers? Like, point zero zero one percent or something? I actually, if that, I, I think it was National Geographic. It was a scary high statistic. Oh no, that poll was that poll was um something very, very different. <laughs> I've heard the two percent number, but I don't believe it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's like point zero zero one tour or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I heard I think I heard Yeah, it's one or two percent. If it's two percent, I'm actually horrified because there's a <laughs> Wow. Like if, there's a higher, if there's a higher percent chance that I'll meet somebody that's that's a flat earther than there is I'll meet somebody with, say, Marfan syndrome. That's mm -hmm. problematic to me. But, I mean, th then again, they do, they probably try and pretend like there's more of them than they actually are. Yes. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. that, and if we're talking people that legitimately believe the earth is flat, there's probably only a couple thousand of them around the world. Oh, yeah. Like, real legitimate, diehard flat earthers that truly believe it. The rest of them are just skeptics or, you know, conspiracy theorists that are looking for a niche to fit into, a click to hang out with. Yeah. That's about right. Oh, Sean, you flash green. Green screen effect. What? Sean, Sean Hawkins, CGI. He flashed green for a second on my screen. <laughs> oh. It's all an illusion. <laughs> no, I actually had a screen error. And, uh, my entire screen flashed green right as Sean Hawkins came on the screen. I've seen, I've seen people's screens do that. So what like, do you guys think about the satellite that took a picture of the crack in the earth left by the earthquake in California? I didn't I see didn't that. that. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Oh, you didn't see yeah, it? Yeah, I, I, I saw it this morning, actually. It was, uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Like, I couldn't tell at first. I had to look at it for a little while to actually see, know what I was looking at. Oh, okay. I posted a link. I've got one from space.com having a look at it right now. I got one from NASA. Ooh. All right. That probably looks better. Let me look at that. Well, if it's from NASA, then it's CGI, obviously. Okay. Actually, it looks like LSD, but... <laughs> I had a shirt wow. that looked like that one time. <laughs> you know, Surprised you didn't pool. have a wardrobe that looked like that at one time, Blue. Yeah, it, it was after a pool party, if I remember correctly. <laughs> no, that's pretty awesome. Paisley will do funny shit when you get it wet. Oh, I thought you were at this. I thought you were going tie dye on us there. <laughs> No, I'm going back to Fort Tana. <laughs> no, that newfangled shit for me, son. <laughs> That's how I feel about hoverboards, honestly. All that newfangled shit. <laughs> Hover hoverboards aren't really that popular anymore. Hoverboards. They've gone out of... I, I haven't tight, seen any. Really. I didn't see any this past that's year. They, that's because they can't figure out how to make the batteries last for more than a couple months before they just fry. Yeah. 
Yeah, you'd was, never see me on a hoverboard. I'd be in the lake or, an, or a, <laughs> on a, in a tree. Those electric scooter things are the new. Electric scooter. All right. Uh, I'm way behind time. They're oh. everywhere. Oh, you're talking about the ones that uh, they just have in cities that you um, yeah. charge it on, like, so you charge it to uh, an app and away you go? Yeah. Like oh. Bird and Lime and those things. Now that I have seen, they were all over New Orleans and they were all over Austin last time I went. We just now got uh, electrical charging stations all, all around town. Oh, that's cool. You got no, earthquakes? Uh, no, we didn't feel it. I'm up about probably about four, 450 miles north of there. That was like south of LA. It's Ridgecrest. Well, Sean, is that put you close to San Fran? Uh, it's south of San Francisco. Okay. I'm up in Mendocino County. Ah, about two thirds of the way up the state. I felt them here, though. We have them out in the ocean a lot. You feel them once in a while. Oh, well, that's a hell of a photo. Oh, 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 oh shit. What? Plane of rocks here? Hmm? Plane of rock here? No, uh, I forgot. I opened a video that I forgot that I have my sound turned on to, so it yelled ahoy hoy at me. Ahoy hoy. <laughs> Happens occasionally. Anything going on in the chat? Oh, you got to be kidding. Rusty with the with the sad news. Rip Torn died. Rip Torn? Really? really? Yeah. Oh, Apparently he just died. Huh. Well. Oh. He's funny. I'll pour one out for Agent Z. I'm going to have to pour one out for Agent Z sometime in the near future. Yeah. Well, that can't be true. It's not on the YouTube trending tab. Ro Ross Perot died. Yeah, he did. That I saw. Yeah, Rip Torn was great. And uh, uh, what was it? The uh, Larry Sanders show? Or whatever. Uh, the, the, not Larry Sanders. What? Shit, I can't remember the name of the show. He played the producer or the director or whatever. Or the he just can't remember the guy's name. Never mind. No, that's all right. Uh, the things I remember him most from will show you how how much of a teenager I was when they came out. It was uh, I remember him best from Freddy Got Fingered and uh, Dodgeball. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dodgeball was Black. my jam. Men in Black, yeah. That was a weird freaking movie, Freddy Got Fingered. For anyone who hasn't seen it, I highly recommend that you don't. Yeah, that was, yeah. <laughs> I have no desire to see anything that guy made. <laughs> he, like, I'm not even going to say anything he did. It's just everything he did was gross. <laughs> Stealing oh. Harvard wasn't that bad. Stealing Harvard was all right. Okay. <laughs> no, oh, and uh, that movie he was also was... in Charlie's Angels, I think, right? Was he really? I know he was in uh... Drew Barrymore's boyfriend in that, maybe. He was in Road Trip as well. He was the one who got left to feed the snake. Yeah, I didn't like that movie. I don't think anybody liked that movie. Yeah, Larry Sanders show. Yeah, he was in that. I didn't watch that movie. Like Arthur. Road Trip. I just I saw did like road trip. Was that bugging you, Sean? <laughs> Some parts where he... Because I saw him yeah. smart in his mouth. Oh, well, he played Larry Sanders. Larry Sanders. Yeah. I can't remember the, the comedian's name. Who was that? Gary Shanley. Yeah. It was Gary Why Shanley. Why you mention Gary Masonic... Shanley? Satanic leader, Sean. What? Gary Shandling? <laughs> Gary Shandling is not a satanic leader. He's obviously a satanic leader of Hollywood. <laughs> D 
you guys think there are satanic leaders in Hollywood? <laughs> you know, that's a great quote, actually. I've never seen that quote before. Ross Perot, if you see a snake, just kill it. Don't appoint a committee on snakes. <laughs> yeah. Why? No, you, that's a bad, that's really bad. Snakes are part of the um, ecosystem. You can't just kill snakes because you don't know how that's going to affect other things. I had a, uh, yeah, yeah, Q, I'm going to disagree with you there. I'm just going to kill a snake if I see it. I found a cute little garter snake today. Kind of played with him and let him go. Yeah. Yeah. I highly recommend that if you, if you hear a rattlesnake, just go away from it. We're actually, uh, human beings are so good at killing rattlesnakes that we're actually making them harder to find because the ones with defective rattles are living, uh, are passing their genes on. Mm -hmm. like yeah. That's the thing that's happening right now. It's a problem. Right. See, that's what I told you. Don't just kill a snake. You have it's a proof of evolution, though. <laughs> committees. We need committees on killing snakes for sure. That's important. <laughs> now, Sasha, important you say detailed you say business that affects everything. You say it's proof of evolution, Sasha, and you'd be right. It's well, it's technically a proof. It's technically no, uh, natural evidence. selection. Selection. Yeah. But, see, Not natural selection if human beings are making the choice. We're natural. Nope. Yeah, but we're full of shit. <laughs> True enough. But here's mm -hmm. the thing that you'll get into with younger creationists and um, people who deny evolution. They'll say that's not a gain of information, therefore it's not actually evolution. Well, it is a gain in information because they, they're now better at avoiding predators. I mean... Which is accurate, but there is it. But if it's not, if it's not like an, if it's not like a, an insertion, an insertion or a duplication error in their genome, they would just deny it. One more orbit just got back live. They were kind of off for a little bit. But here's the thing: those snakes can still have snakes with regular rattles. They can, yes. Oh. What's up, everybody? Not much. What's happening, Blue Ball? Hey, Look, hey, does anybody want to hear? If you does see a anybody want to hear just, my? Got to get a flute. My mate. Can yes. you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, does anybody want to hear my Matrix Media impression? Go for Go it. Go. Yo, check it out, bro. Yo, the Earth is flat, bro. <laughs> Everybody want to tell me everything about the Earth. The Earth is fucking flat. Because check it out. <laughs> Every day I go outside and I look at the water and the shit is flat, man. Everything <laughs> is fake. Every all, all you guys believe in NASA? NASA, yo, that shit is all, that shit is all fake, bro. It's all fake. <laughs> Anybody want to debate me? Just tell me right now. Can you even fathom those distances, the number? Can anybody fathom the numbers? <laughs> Y'all wrong for that. Y'all wrong nailed. for that. <laughs> Damn. Two of them, man. Nailed. I thought we actually had Matrix on for a second. Yeah, he was here earlier. Really? What are you talking about? What are you talking about the moon? The moon is fake, bro. You don't even know what the moon is. What is the sun? The sun is not real. You've been to the sun? You have you have you gone and touched a piece of the sun, bro? Shit is fake. <laughs> actually, actually, we are made of stuff that the sun throws at us. We are stardust. Yeah, channel your inner Car your inner Carl Sagan there. <laughs> billions and billions of stars. We are all made of stars. No, no. I mean, I've been working on that for a few days. You're doing well. Right on. <laughs> Don't do it again. We are. We are stardust. We are golden. We are billion-year-old carbon. Uh, who was it? There was a. Uh... Speak for yourself. There's a really crappy techno artist that um, made a song based around that quote. Who the hell was that? Moby. We are all made of stars. Okay. Back in the early 2000s. I quoted... Uh, Melody Sheep would... Uh, if Melody Sheep did a We Are Made of Stars video, that would be... That would be interesting to watch. What I quoted was Joni Mitchell from uh, Woodstock. Ah. Northern Center. Hey guys, I gotta take off. I'll talk to you guys later on. Have a good night. Later. You leave it again, yeah. all right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna kick too. Uh, 
Hi. How's the experiment coming, B ball? Um, I'm I'm being lazy, so it's gonna take a few days, I guess. I still have to um I have to get like a light source inside of the, the box. Yeah. So I have to order I have to order like a, a charger for this light that I have. So I have to wait till it gets here and then I'll then I'll be one step closer to actually doing it. Oh, okay. But I have everything set up. I'm just waiting on the light. I think you got it uh, figured out pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I know you put a lot of work into it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, it's. I have everything done. It's just like I said, I'm still waiting on because I, I was thinking about, wait a minute, I won't, if I close the box, I won't be able to see anything. So I have to put a light in there. And I found this... Um, I, I was I was riding a bike one day and uh, I found this cat like a like a, like a cat light. Mm -hmm. you, ever, you know that, that that company Caterpillar. Yeah. They make those like heavy duty like conduct construction lights. Yep. So I just got to get a charger for it. So I'll put that in the box and then it'll be nice and illuminated when I drop it. Um, just try to use something that doesn't generate heat. Um, yeah, what? Yeah, well, it's it's like a fight. It's like a like a um, it's an LED light, so it won't be much. Heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any kind of heat you put in there will cause it to uh, generate circulating air currents, and all. Uh, then you'll end up with all the issues that Cavendish was afraid of to begin with. No, I, I, are you talking? Of, no, I'm. I'm doing the one where I drop the I'm dropping the um the density column. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're confused. Yeah, I'm dropping yeah. a density column off of like a seven story building. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you were doing that during the Cavendish. Thank I don't know where you. I got nah. Nah. Somebody's doing Cavendish. Uh that's BM mm Verbal. -hmm. Is he still doing that? He has set up the probably the most um, uninfluenced by anything else on the planet uh, Cavendish experiment ever. It'll be, oh, wow. uh, I, I think he said it's going to be in a vacuum. It's going to be um, completely, uh, the torsion bar and its uh, wire are going to be completely untouchable by air currents. He's got everything taken care of in it. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty slick. So it's actually in a vacuum? I think it's actually going to be in a vacuum chamber. Like he, the way nice. the plexiglass that he's got it set up under has the, it looks like it has the hoses to be, um, to be hooked to it. Nice. Now, who's the guy mm. that's been arguing about we've never done Cavendish in a vacuum? Who's that guy? Well, it's been done. It, it was, <laughs> that was their video of it on YouTube. I don't know, but I know it's been done. Yeah. That's just a red hearing yeah. argument. Yeah. But there are several flat earthers who claim it's never been done. Hell, we have flat earthers who claim we've never been to the moon. We have flat, yeah. we have flat earthers who claim we've never been above, um, we've never been above five thousand feet, and that airplanes lie about their height. <laughs> yeah, right. You can take a can't you like take an altitude meter and on the plane, see how high you are. Uh, nope. Not if it's a barometric altimeter, no. The, the, the cabin pressure is controlled, so you'll just never, you'll never read anything except what the cabin pressure is, unless you've got access to a static port. But that's what Question. the airplane altimeters are to. Can a Cavendish experiment be done like, like hanging two actual, you know, like fishing line of strings and put like two big ass concrete block or rocks or balls or something can it be done like old school like prehistoric back in the day just hanging two fucking ropes and put two two big ass one big ass weight and a tiny one really close to it like outside of back really. there's videos it underground there's videos of that there's maybe if you did like underground with no wind or no nothing you probably could do it and even then you'd have to find a even then to appease flat earthers it had to be it had to be a room that had no um 
a, a perfectly symmetrical room that had no air currents. Yep, airtight. Well, I highly encourage anyone that is interested in looking into that to actually go and read the Cavendish experiment itself and look at the concerns and all the trouble they, they went through. He went through. Let me find a link to that. To make sure nothing uh, uh, influenced it. Because when I, when I was on Flat Earth, when I heard about, about the Cavendish, I thought it was just one guy that said, like, hey, let me hang out two balls, one big one and a small one. And he just was chilling in the <laughs> background, like, looking through a little pipe or something. Let me see if they move. Like, like that was that was what I thought, bro. Uh, so uneducated. That's crazy. Well, Here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to post a link to the Cavendish experiment in chat. Cool. You guys got any questions for Mark Sargent? Uh, when is he going to um, come back? Is it, when is he going to... Sorry, what's the question I'm going to ask? How long does he think uh, this gravy train will continue to last, and when will he come back to the globe side, realizing his mistake? <laughs> I got an easier... accepting phone calls, and he's live right now. <laughs> I got an easier question. Can he, can he someday, one of these days, surprise us and show up in other type of hangout or, or open open discussion groups or debate channels. He just show up uh, without warning and hang out with a bunch of random I, people. I, See, I, I have Canada. a question. Well, will somebody like, my... but somebody like that, you can't really debate because he's just gonna go. I'm sorry. Will he join my free day structure debate? Oh, that would be brilliant. I feel like he he he'd do good at that. Oh, he'd do miserable, but it would be funny. <laughs> okay, I'm asking him. Yeah. What happened to Wotan? I don't know what happened to Wotan, Mister P. Or does he I'd know like any to... flat other flat earthers that would like to join the free day debate? Yeah. I mean, it would be ideal if he joined, but. If he knows anybody, that's that that'd be nice. What's the latest news? Uh, uh, there's been a lot of scare hackers attacking <laughs> city databases. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure about insurance scams. I don't. I don't know about insurance. Really... Actually, uh, uh, Social Security Administration is a scam that's currently being done. Uh, the people are getting cold calls saying, "Hey, this is so and so with Social Security Administration, and we're just uh, and we're showing um, that there's a problem with your account. Can you verify your name? Can you verify your age? All right. And last thing, uh, your Social Security number is what, so that we can verify you. And then they go away with everything you own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't don't yeah. ever give it. Yeah, but anybody smart, about. anybody who's smart would know." Hey, you're the, the no one's ever gonna call you and ask for any of that stuff. The best thing to do is is hang up is is hang up and call back the real number and get. There's no there's no need, Sasha. Social Security, the Social Security Department, the IRS, none of those people will ever call you ever. Yeah. They'll they will send it. Never, <laughs> if you get anybody that calls you and says they're with. Either of those two agencies, it is a scam, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. The only way you're going to get a call from the from from somebody at the IRS or somebody at Social Security is if you call them first. Yeah. They may call back to confirm an appointment or something, but that's the only way it'll happen. So there's no reason for people to fall for that shit, but they do. I had a call from the IRS, uh, quote unquote, the IRS a couple months ago, actually. Uh, dude with yeah. a very strong Indian accent was telling me that my that my taxes were fucked up. Oh my god! Oh golly golly! <laughs> I asked you, him, does anyone actually fall for the scam? He says, you must be. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. <laughs> you will have to how, go to the did, keep... did you just waste his time for a while, or did you? I you wasted his time him? for a little bit, and I was like, I, I, <laughs> it's just really just weird. So I kept I calling. Yeah, I try to get them to, to take it all the way to the point that they're getting me to go to 
uh, Best Buy or something to get some my IT. What if I just give them a bunch of fake information? Yeah. With my luck, I'd give them. I'd wind up giving them an actual working social security number for someone else, and then I'm part of the scam. <laughs> Mr. Or just like pretend to give them a number and go one number at a time, but then like stall for a long time between each number. Yeah. Waste their time a bit. Uh, my dad used to always do something ridiculous whenever he'd get a telemarketer. He, people call him up and they'd be like, how are you doing, Mr. Pierce? And he'd be like, hey, you know what? It's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting day, and he'd be like, "Hey, guess what? We're gonna see. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I said, is it, how are you?" And he'd be like, "Oh, I'm not doing too well. I've got this huge boil on my ass, and every time I move, it squishes a little bit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, "Are you the Mr. Pierce we're looking for?" He'd be like, "Oh, yeah, absolutely. Here." Look what Bob from Globusters said about me. What? <laughs> I wonder if Channel Q is as ugly as she sounds. That's awful. That's <laughs> he doesn't know me at all. He don't know me. <laughs> well, I'm using my Brian Peck account tonight, aren't I? Shit. Is that the uh, hey, Sasha? Yeah. Is this what you get a link to? Uh, which one? Can you see? Can you see my screen? Um. Hold on, I'll go back to the first. Yes. You got that one. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, it's about sixty-four pages total. Very detailed. Yeah. I've got to delete my other pseudonyms. I keep getting them mixed up. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, some of it gets a little deep, but the very, you know, the first four or five pages of it, it's worth reading. But he yeah, yeah, why, why, it, why it, all the trouble he went through? Yeah, and sixty-four pages—that's that's a lot of trouble to go through for a experiment like that. So it shows that it wasn't done just haphazardly. No, it's probably the most thorough and controlled experiment of its era. Oh, for sure. For sure. This guy was uh, autistic, I think. Must have been. The stories about him would uh, would say that he definitely had some sort of sensory processing disorder or um, personality disorder at the very least. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, anyway. Hey, Channel Q. Did, yeah. Channel Q, did you get a response from Mark Sar Sargent? Uh, no, Bob answered for him. He said, uh, he asked me a question. He said, when am I going to stop trolling and take a hike? Hi and then guys, he asked I if I was back. ugly. Oh, so, so he, did, so he didn't, he didn't. And then I got accused of making the stream go offline because by coincidence it did right after I asked the question. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. I just, I just got, I just, I just got here. So what's going on? Uh, we asked Mark Sargent some questions. Wait, wait, wait. You talked to Mark Sargent? I was no. trolling him in, in this chat, yeah, a minute ago. In my chat? Did he block you? No, no, no. He wasn't in your chat. He was in somebody else's show, uh, and I was trolling in the chat, and then Bob Nodell called me ugly. Has he looked in the mirror lately? <laughs> <laughs> like, for real? <laughs> he, for someone so I don't want to say cross-eyed giant, but I just did. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you really think about it, I mean, the dude is like, most confused he has he's like ranty he gives a globe evidence and claims to be a flat earther and now he's yeah i would take his observations as wrong no matter what <laughs> he doesn't seem like honest or in order to know what he's talking about are you still in the chat over there q yeah it but it you know the stream ended ask uh hmm. ask bob nodell why he's making all all those uh, homophobic, racist, sexist no. comments on Facebook because Nathan Thompson's using his account on Facebook. Are you serious? Yeah, because oh, Nathan got banned, so Bob gave him his login info. 
So everything Nathan Thompson's posting everything under Bob Nodell right now. <laughs> that is funny. I, I, ask ask Bob if if he if he's capable of answering a question without making a personal remark. And then and then then put the link to my chat <laughs> in, 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 in that chat yes. so that everyone comes here. <laughs> yes, yes, please do. Let's not, for, let's not forget that one. Oh, Come apparently on. Mark had been saying all night that his computer was bad, and then it went down, and so Bob blamed it on Bob blamed it on um. John, and- I can't I can't link your chat because like I don't have a wrench there or anything, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh. We could just say we're over at Sean G's. Amy <laughs> uh, McKenzie already told them. He said they're over at Sean G's channel having a circle jerk figures. Or Yay. Some shit. Okay, cool. At least at least they're we're more, having a... They're more than welcome to come here and put and put strange hands in the circle. I mean Okay, we're, we're about we're right about that point where it's like, honestly, yeah, but let's not go too far. <laughs> we got Sasha here. Um uh, I apologize. Oh, no, 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 no! You didn't do anything wrong at all. I just want to make sure it doesn't get too far. Um, I don't know if Bob's going to answer me about the was, homophobic Facebook stuff. <laughs> was there, hey, was there, Sean. Yeah. What's up? Did you watch the fights on Saturday? I didn't, but I did. I was sitting actually talking to my nephew a minute ago about uh, about the fights. Who got injured in the co-main event? Oh. uh the Ben Askren got knocked out in five seconds. Who who, who did he fight? George Mas- uh, Masvidal. Uh, Ma- Masvidal, yeah. And he, uh, and he got he took a knee. Yeah, George leaned up against the fence with against the cage with his hands behind his back, and Ben Askren ran in to shoot in for the double leg, and he just yeah. jumped up and just cracked him. Fastest knockout in UFC history. Wow. And then uh, was that, that Tiago that Tiago Santos fought John Jones? He blew his left knee out round one and fought through the whole fight. He had an MRI done, tore an ACL, tore an MCL, tore a PCL, and his meniscus was torn. He fought the whole fight like that. Who won? Do a lateral? How do you do a full blowout and then keep fighting? Stay off that knee. And well, and plus adrenaline. Just the the muscles in his legs holding it together. He'd kick with it. He'd like throw a leg kick, and as soon as he planted his foot back on the ground, you'd see his knee pop sideways. It was oh, brutal. Did, but did, John Jones won, but uh, Tiago won. Like, it was a split decision. Tiago oh, was the wow. first person to get a winning, yeah. a winning card on John Jones. Oh, wow. Was that um, Ben, ben Askren? Was that his uh, UFC per, uh, his first fight? That was his second fight, but I mean, he everybody thought he was going to come. Oh in yeah, he's he, he's got such a good wrestling game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He they well see. Th- I remember because I haven't actually watched it in a minute because I haven't trained in like a month or two, so I've been out of the whole circle of it. Um, but yeah, when he came, when he was fighting for Bellator, it was like, why isn't he in the UFC? That's how good he is. And a lot of people worried that the issue would be that he he waited too long to get to the UFC. Others would say that the UFC waited, otherwise, because they didn't want a, that dominant of a of a fighter at the time. It's kind of. Yeah, I think it, he's like thirty nine years old or something. But yeah, he, he was it, knocked out. He was knocked out the whole time. They uh, Rogan was interviewing. Um, oh really? And then after they left, like even on his way out of the ring, he could barely walk. He needed two guys to hold him up. Like I think it was career ending because once you get your button ding like that, you. You don't have a jaw anymore after that. You know, like, you're yeah, yeah, jaw yeah. when you get knocked out like that. Like, just stiffened him right up. And, like, he was, like, done. Yeah, I'm actually about to watch it right now. And, yeah, no one else gets to watch it. Because <laughs> I'm like, they'll copyright UFCs are assholes. They are ass flat earth philosophers. Sean. Oh, wow. Flat earthers are people, too. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty impressive. Why are you here? Tell me that, stupid ass. Oh, you're not? Okay. He's not here. Yeah, it's too bad. Yeah, that was a good knockout. Yeah, he was... Yeah, that's... I'm not going to say career-ending, but... uh, Yeah, he's... Yeah, he, he's forever... His jaw is forever compromised. Yeah, yeah, he's out, out. Yeah, when you go stiff like that, it's... It's a whole different world. Yeah, he it's doesn't crazy. remember anything until uh, he woke up in the hospital and his wife told him he got knocked out with a flying knee. Wow. 
Damn, that like, was brutal. Not, like, he, wo- he woke up in the ring, but he doesn't remember anything until after he was at the hospital for a length of time already. Yeah, being when you get knocked out, it's a different animal. I've been knocked out, not in, in MMA. I've been knocked out when I used to play flag football. I took elbows to the head all the time, and I, I've been knocked out at least twice from it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't remember weekends. Like, I had used to have to go out to Vegas for tournaments, and I not remember a whole weekend. <laughs> and be playing the whole time. It's weird. It's not. It's not. Not a good thing when you take. When you take. <clears throat> when you get head trauma. Yeah, it's bad. That's why uh, a lot of like football. Like a lot of football players started retiring. A lot of. Uh, a lot of rules have changed when it comes to head trauma. When it comes to that thing, a lot of fighters stop fighting. That's one of the reasons I. I didn't want to be fighting. Take a, take one to the head, and you could you could be a, a vegetable for the rest of your life. Yeah, and the thing is, when you when you get hit in the jaw like that, your your lower jaw gets pushed back against the two pressure points, and it, it puts you to sleep. And it seems like when that happens, you you just got a, a glass jaw after that. You know, like it's mm-hmm. a totally different, totally different type of injury than say taking a shot to the side of the head and getting knocked out. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Um. So there's 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 what they call the three buttons, two on the side of your head and one right right on the button of your nose. Well, the reason they call it the one on the button of your nose is because what happens is it will actually make your neck jam down, and it does the same thing you were just describing. And then the two sides isn't the fact that it's you hit on the side; it's what you were talking about, where that your jaw actually compresses in, like makes your brain. It basically sledgehammers your brain in a nutshell uh yeah that's as real as it gets and uh the different types of concussions and knockouts matter big time because when you you don't remember stuff for days or you don't remember a whole event it's a uh it's a wake-up call yeah i have a feeling he'll you know what though Askren could probably move down a weight class because if he cut all his fat off He's he's a pudgy little guy. If he cut all that fat off, he could easily drop down a weight class, and then he'd probably dominate it because his wrestling really is top notch. Oh yeah, well, I can I can promise you right now, he he is the best wrestler in the UFC right now. Uh, the issue is again the time he, they waited to get him into the UFC because um, he used to when he used to uh, fight for Bellator, he fought what I call lazy weight, which is, means he doesn't cut very much. He uses his ability over his weight, you know, the weight cut. And I think now at the UFC he gained weight and he doesn't want to. He the lazy game ain't gonna work at the UFC. Yeah, he's uh, he's gonna have to figure something out if he wants to stick around in the sport. The problem UFC is notorious for that. They'll, they'll they'll take a guy and they'll give him a bad matchup his first or second fight. Oh yeah, his career's over before it even starts. Right, hundred percent. They did that with um the the worst case that I've ever seen is uh. What's the kid's name? Um, North. What is it? Uh, Northcut. Uh, what's his name? Um, yeah, Sage Northcut. Yes, if they, they did it with him, he would have been definitely a champion by now. But they threw him into the. He th- they threw him to the wolves way too soon, and I think Dana White even realized it because after a while, for a lot of the fighters that they brought in, he kind of put up, you know, gave him soft fights for a long time, which was the other bad part. Where they give these guys these really easy fights, and then they become six and zero, and then they fight, fight someone for the belt, and they get their asses handed to them. That's a big problem. Yeah, they did the same thing with Forrest Griffin too. He had that amazing fight with mm-hmm. Stephen Bonner, and then like two fights later, he's fighting Rich Franklin for the belt. Like, yeah, I mean, it time. was just he just what didn't have the experience at that point yet. Well, the big thing was is that he was able to. Uh, they, he had that. They saw that brawl, that brawler mentality. And because they saw that, they, you know, they ran with it. They were like, oh, perfect. We're good to go now. Just throw them in with the wolves. And I think that was the beginning of the UFC when they realized they can't be doing that anymore. Because st- a lot of those guys, they stopped doing that with. Yeah. Not everybody. Yes, can yes Mark Green. Just go out um, two weeks without, <laughs> without um, even training and then just go fight and win a belt for no reason. Well, see, that's the thing. Um, a lot of people don't realize the Nate Diaz brothers. There is never yep. a time they're not out of shape. They don't always fight. <laughs> they don't always fight, but they're always 
they do triathlons year round. Matter of fact, they do more triathlon events than they do fights, boxing. But they're always they're always training. Always. I've I've seen those guys go. Um, personally myself and I, I can tell you now they've they can spar and, and do jiu-jitsu for 20 hours in a day and then go ride a bike 30 miles without even batting a sweat it's crazy good why you didn't tell me they were like shortcuts for hangouts just by pressing the interrogation sign like the question sign i mean shift and interrogation and poop and give you a menu of shortcuts it's beautiful where for this for this yeah just just put just in your hangout page just key in the interrogation sign, that's help. So you do shift interrogation, it gives you a whole list of commands for shortcuts on the keyboard. Really cool. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I didn't know that shit. What the fuck? I'm a rookie oh, wow. on computer. No, I didn't know about <laughs> it either. Yeah, it's cool. And hey, does anyone know if Mark Green in the chat's a flat earther or not? He's asking Sean if uh, he thinks being knocked out affected his understanding of gravity. It just sounds like a troll. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like a troll, <laughs> but uh, that's a, that's uh, a troll no. remark. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, it didn't affect my understanding of gravity. Um, I obviously didn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Period. You felt the full force of gravity. Yeah, I just didn't know how to explain it to you. <laughs> the chat just told me that uh, Shanji just hit a user you've blocked. I did. Oh, I just blocked uh, our buddy Meth Mars, as I call him. Yeah. Get that a lot now, because my block list is getting so complete. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So, when I first, like, when I came, when I left Flat Earth, and then I decided I was gonna delete everyone, and, like all the branches and and blocks. I had, I think it was around 675 blocked names on my, uh, in my little community thing when I first started again. I think I've got one. I don't even know who that is. Let's see where it's at. Now, I don't think I have very many. Now I have the, mo the main, the most people. Now, right now, I, blah, 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 blah. Right now, I think I have about 150, and most of them are, lo are loady. I don't even know how he just came in because I uh, I have I know I have a Bmars block so I know he had to have changed that little name some altering way. I know there's another way I just forget how and I even if I remembered I probably wouldn't say it because then it'd just be a reminder. Oh okay yeah, are you talking about the invisible character? Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I figured that out. So that one, that's the easiest thing to, that I can do right now, where I kind of just float through and take care of that. Because I don't even know if they realize how I see it, but it's very obvious when I see it now. Because I see when, they, when they're unblocking people. That's the easy part. Oh, I'm trying to get comfortable on this damn seat. Hang on. All right. So again, anyone who's want to make sure I remind everyone to go and hit that this Discord link to where Sasha just put it for the new debate system. It's explained through there, but we're going to do a tutorial, hopefully tonight. Um, if not tonight, in the next couple of days at least. Um, else, I'm trying to remember everything I wanted to say. Oh, again, congratulations to Menace here, and also uh, Tesla's Apple. I haven't seen Tesla. Has he been in here yet? I have not mm -hmm. seen him. He, he has a... Uh, he has, uh, Four days to claim his prize. Otherwise, I'll pick another one, another winner. I'm just kidding. He wins. <laughs> you messed up. I won't stream for four days and then I'll see him. Sorry, you, you missed out, bro. My bad. Uh, my question is: Did Rumpus even know this was going on? I would be upset if he didn't. Oh, he did. Okay, good. I'm not gonna lie, and I feel bad, Jose. I haven't been watching lately, but I've been in a doing a lot of moving and a lot of crap in the past few past couple of weeks so i'm catching up again it's all good no problem i just blocked the word pmars for uh, so you missed two days ago to two days ago uh, the first hour we talk about vaccines and then yeah. for almost 
three full hours we talk about 9 11. Yeah, yeah, I and heard then about that. Today, this morning, we also touch on 9 11 uh, later in the show. Yeah, but I, yesterday I, was not in flutter, just vaccines and 9 11. Mm-hmm. It was good. Yeah, that, that's kind of where I'm kind of steering mine to go towards because, like I said, I, I like to do the geoengineering stuff. That and I only reason I haven't even come out with that yet is because the information that I have, I'm trying to prepare it better. And then, like I said, I've been like my computer has been disconnected and then, re- and then connected again like 12 times in the past week. So like that's kind of where I my why the streaming and then being and then watching other streams have been kind of lagging lately. Um, but the computer's finally set up and I got it in the right spot and everyone's and you know it's not going to be taken apart for a minute. So you guys are going to see me consistent again. Um, and then as long as everyone can say there's no buffering, next time the stream will go. I'll be able to add more stuff to it. I just didn't know if my this what I got right now would be able to handle um, the stream good enough. It's good, it's good. And then we had an Arwin versus Dean a few days ago, also for yeah, like half an hour. Yeah, I, I went live. Uh, I went live two days ago, and I heard about that. Dean wasn't too happy. <laughs> Dean, Dean was actually crying. It was all bitching about the fact that uh, I guess yeah. you you have a style now where you started just picking people like randomly. Well, it depends because uh, it was kind of uh, all over the place. And uh, when it went all over the place, a really cheap show, I said, you know what? I'm going to shut it down. And by the end, Arwin and Dean were, going, were having a back and forth. I said, Arwin, I would like to have you, you know, over here first in the stream, you know. And I don't remember if I asked him, like, who do you want to talk one-on-one? He said, oh, I'll talk to Dean because he was on it. And I said, all right, so Dean and Arwin in the beginning of the show, and I just <laughs> closed the whole hangout, and I just invited them both. So I kind of put uh, them okay. in the spot, but it yeah, was yeah. Uh, in a rush, you know? Huh? Yeah, all good. I think that's funny. I I think, if anything, um, everyone should wreak havoc on Dean and make his life miserable for no reason at all. <laughs> 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 that's just the way it should be, especially because he thinks everything should be done in 4K. Yeah. It's just the way you yeah, be. but uh, but Dean actually, I mean, I don't know if technically he made Arwin rage quit, but Arwin rage quit because of Dean, you know. Mm-hmm. He was showing the model and they were talking about the little model with the moon and shit. And I don't know, it was some trigger fest going on. And I would say, yeah. I'm fucking out of here. I can't take yeah. it anymore. You know, I, I actually have a good question because I never like like I said, there was a, I never listened to a lot of flat earthers when I was a flat earther. So, for instance, Arwin, um, I know who he is. Obviously, everyone knows who Arwin is, but. I never heard, like, I never listened to any streams that he had done prior or, or, or any arguments or debates he ever had. Does Arwin actually have anything to discuss no, Arwin, when it comes to... Arwin got a rectangular Pac-Man model. That's all uh, Arwin has. That's it. That's he's, it's one of those. He's completely unarmed. Yeah, see, I, I, I never... That's And that's why you guys never... I've never even, like, attempted to want to, like, uh, debate with him. Because I don't even... I have no idea what he, even his argument is. Um, I really did avoid a lot. Like I didn't avoid, but I just didn't know a lot about a lot of flat earthers. I know more flat earthers now that create content than I did when I was a flat earther. Yeah, and that's crazy to me. Norman got pissed, and he, got, he was mad at me for one thing because I went after him asking him uh, why he was presupposing a flat Earth, and that, that made him mad. He didn't want. To What's the hot mic? Is it your shot? It's me. It's me. It's me. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I was trying to fix my mic. My apologies. It sounded like you were pouring coffee over the damn thing. (laughs) No, I was. Um, I was taking my uh, the little filter cap. The little I call it my spit guard. (laughs) I was. I was taking it off. Yeah, yeah. I was taking it off my uh, off the mic because I. It's not set up on my desk like it normally is. I'm actually holding it in my hand like a microphone, so it, it was uncomfortable and I had to take it off. I apologize. So, so one thing about Arwin, uh, I think he he said he doesn't read a lot on none of that shit. But I know he he Google a lot of things and he he's got a good memory because he retains and he listened to some things and he evolved. So he got a uh, he got knowledge about a little bit about lights and about some kind of physics. He got knowledge about things and he can verbalize it and he can verbal diarrhea like a motherfucker. But oh, yeah. he also did uh, he also put a disclaimer that he is a theoretical whatever earther you know so he put a lot of theories i say yeah, this is the way i think and it should work better so he just proposes a lot of bullshit and he actually disclaims it uh Aaron said something the other day that was amazing he said that he didn't like uh, the double slit experiment that was being used um 
on on a on mass particles such as a buckyball or high atomic mass uh, high atomic mass particles. He said you can't use this set. He said you can't use the that particular setup as a double slit experiment. Little does he know it's the same double slit experiment setup that they used um, with photons. So he's he's just saying that you can't use which you can't use what's already established that you can use. Yeah. It's just okay. see the thing is is the only thing I've ever heard about Arwen is that he's like a uh, a D and D guy and like that's basically where his whole world is. Yeah. He he goes a lot by the he's a big fan of um what Alex Jones. And he buys his products and he proposes he says, Oh Alex Jones is the, the shit, you know? And he's I don't know, these kind of guys. Wait, wait. So he see that's ah oh, see. So Arwen is literally so all over the place. He's really not even worth trying to debate. Yeah. The thing is, if Arwen would yell less, I would actually like Arwen. Well, I like Arwen because he I know he can piss Nathan off pretty good. Oh, I pissed Nathan. I pissed Nathan off today. Shout out to Danger Man in the chat. Yeah. So what happened? Oh, I, I, I checked in early. I was doing breakfast. So let me check in on the, on the clown show, Nathan. Brenda was on. He go like, what's up, Brenda? And she said, like, well, evidence of curvature, boats go over the horizon. <laughs> and, and Nathan <laughs> got pissed off, you know, <laughs> because you know how it goes, right? Yeah. And he was kind of yelling at her. I said, oh, this is my chance. Let me click in. And I went into the hangout. He got like, hey, Jose. Hey, what's up? I said, Nathan, I got evidence of curvature. He said, yeah, what you got? I said, boats go over the horizon. And I was all, <laughs> all kind of shouting, and I was excited. Oh, it was fucking hilarious. And he said, like, explain to me. I said, what? You never heard of boats going over the horizon? What is the horizon? I said, are you really asking me that, dude? I mean, if you if you are asking me what do I mean when I say boats over the horizon, I'm in the wrong panel. I'm looking for people that actually smart flatter just whatever so see you later whatever and i just left and they bro they start they kept talking about me nathan was pissed he was having a rant insulting me and shit and then when everything called down uh hold on quantum eraser joined he said oh he started talking nathan said like please save me they these people can't can't stop talking about jose so <laughs> quantum eraser went on a rant and then arwin after that he said Oh, Nathan, by the way, did you see Jose's show yesterday or some shit like that, bro? It was funny. <laughs> awesome. Oh, was uh, I actually haven't checked my uh, Discord DMs yet. I don't know if, if I've gotten any more messages from Quantum Eraser, but I still wanted to match those up with yours. What's up, Earth Seriously Flat? I do hey, appreciate look at the chat, that. Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Earth Seriously Flat, uh, he says, word of the day is globe. I told him he's supposed to come on and say this shit. Globe po postured. Uh, I'll say it. Uh, can I read it? Can oh, I read yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Go for it. War of the day. Globe <laughs> possessed. Let's unite and perform daily globe exorcism by teaching children how to test the globe doctrine. Talking back our beautiful stationary flat earth with love. Yes. Jose, you you are now the new Earth is seriously flat super chat translator. <laughs> Earth is seriously flat. You should join the Discord debate. Oh please! And if you do, and remember this Earth is seriously flat. We do have a kid on here, so mind yourself. But you are welcome if you can mind it'd yourself. Be cool. It'd be cool, yeah. Earth, Earth, yeah. It'd be cool having him today now. Young yeah, blood. I I really uh, was you're hoping for debates, and you're inviting Earth is seriously flat onto your Discord. <laughs> is that, I, I, a, I, that a bad idea? Well, how many flat Earthers have you seen uh, present evidence here? Uh, Pete tried. Tried, uh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just answered your own question. Like I said, I, I even when you first announced it, I didn't think you were gonna get like a wave of flat earthers from here. Like I know I'm yeah. gonna have to do. I'm gonna have a lot of legwork to do to get some flat earthers in there for you. <laughs> Put it that way. You know what's funny about that? I, though? My my flat Pete earthers Jay aren't is, the, the smartest. Peach Day's the biggest gun they got. You're right. Yeah, but Chris Berry doesn't want to play. 
because Chris Berry knows. That's why he came in going, I, I'm not debating anymore. And then what did he do? He sat in here trying to debate his view the whole time. Even when in, yeah. even when the evidence is thrown right in his face and how dishonest he can be. Because remember I told you guys, if he's honest, he's honest. But when he's not, he's not. And when he did those lines with that that, uh, oh, that ship, it was embarrassing. Like, Chris, wait, time, wait, dude, your lines are like, what are you looking like? He was convinced we were looking at something that was so not <laughs> I, I couldn't i didn't know what to say to the damn kid i was like um what, what are you looking at how do you see that how are you seeing i i don't i don't get it it made no sense mm. it, 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 he's bad he's a, chris berry like i said i i i put him on a better pedestal than i do like seek and find so to speak but I mean, don't get me wrong. Chris Berry's he he can be just as bad as he can find or any of those other guys. Um, he does these experiments, and he should be the one. The way I saw it was okay. People that do experiments, oh, okay, so they're gonna figure it out faster because I didn't do experiments. So I assumed anyone who did experiments would you know evolve from flat Earth so much quicker. Nah, not happening. <laughs> it's kind of frustrating. I don't think Chris Berry is one of the ones that is intentionally uh, uh, trying to be deceptive. I think he really badly wants it all to be the way he thinks it is. I just think he's that backward uh, mm. and that lacking in any kind of technical ability whatsoever. Yeah, the, the, that, the that's really what I think. Yeah, the understanding of it is just not there. It's just it's, he has no understanding at all. Yeah, and you you really have to. I mean, you may not understand a lot or very much, if and all, at all. But you have to have at least a base of something to work off of. You know, um, it does. You don't even have to be correct on it, but you have to start somewhere and and, and work from there. Whereas, and he's started everywhere and convinced he knows everything. Yep. Right? Yeah, and that's real bad. That's not a doesn't doesn't work. Doesn't mesh well. No, you're probably not going to teach yourself classical thermodynamics uh, using uh, Google and Wikipedia over the course <laughs> of a day or two. No, no, no. That, that, I, that's not the best idea. And I can tell you that for sure because I've been learning um, particle physics for the past eight months on my How's own. How's it working out? Um, yeah. it, not, not great. Um, I, not, will, I, I, great. I, I know a lot more than I did. I don't understand a lot of it. But, um, again, you know, I, I haven't been putting a hundred percent of the effort to it, but I, I slowly, but surely still am. I have actually blue. I have a lot of questions. One day we're gonna have to do a, a, a physics, uh, stream where I just ask a bunch of questions that make no sense to anyone, but me and you and, or other people that know it, <laughs> but, uh, well don't, well, don't do it on particle physics. Cause I don't know shit about particle physics. Ah, well, I expect you to know everything. So look up on that, please, and then <laughs> get back to me. No, the, uh, I, I can find that in Wikipedia, can I? <laughs> I think so. Um, luckily, I, I actually what I what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get like the smartest minds that I know on that one panel, and then just go like 101 questions, like literally do that, like I just everyone I can think of that's just that smart. And then literally just have a show where you guys don't even aren't even allowed to talk. Just answer my questions. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I remember quarks and gluons. Yeah, yeah, that's about where I'm at. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Understanding those and how yeah, they work quarks. and breaks down. Yeah, and the oh, whole yeah. colors. Yeah, yeah. It took me yeah. a minute to figure out that colors aren't colors. <laughs> <laughs> It was wonderful. It was. I looked at people like they were crazy when they were explaining it to me. I was like, no, I don't think you're right. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I had George explain uh, airplanes and hitting buildings and shit today. That was pretty good. Oh, did he? See, I, I, I definitely want to get into the 9-11 discussion, but because I had peed on for so long, so, many, so long, I wouldn't. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's picked up on it yet, but Pete Shea in a 9-11 conversation is very triggering. And uh, I, I, that's why I never talked 9 11 when he was here, ever. Um, he knows how to trigger the crap out of me when it comes to that. 
Um, but yeah, I, I definitely want to talk about it because I, I have a very different opinion than a lot of people. A lot of people don't don't expect it. Um, for me it was say, interesting on my show, bro. Yeah, we we'll happy share a little bit. He did pretty good in the beginning, but then he started going down this route of the clues. Oh, you got this many clues, and you can see this movie before. You can see this documentary, and I don't know. He went to the wrong route, but we did pretty good. We had um, Timmy Osman was I don't know if he was in today. But in the yesterday, in the long show, it was a variety of people with different ideas. I, I don't know, uh, Chris was today, and Timmy Osman was today. But yesterday was, uh, bro, it was a big ass variety, but a very diverse panel. You know, it was good. good. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna watch. I'll, I'll watch it tonight when I, you know, I'm laying down. I'll watch it, and then uh, I'll definitely be there tomorrow. Like I said, man, I've been hooking up, redo, doing a lot of moving and all that stuff. So now that I'm settled again, I can actually get back into the fold of it, but uh, get into that 9-11 conversation. Because like I said, I'm one of the people that believe it's a false flag. But I don't do yeah. any, I don't think anything was hologram. I don't, I think everything that happened, happened, period. It's the yeah. inside We of went it. down the route. Yeah, I chose to, 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 I chose to do the, the show, but without talking about victims, deaths of people, because it has anything to do. I wanted to talk about uh, they actually been the engineering, you know, the the physics, the the evidence, cameras, you know, and all this kind mm -hmm. of stuff, which is more interesting because it's what we can see, what we can, exactly. I mean, analyze in a, in a more coherent way. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Yeah, like, uh, and and that that kind of leads me to what I was talking about earlier with the whole flat Earth, globe Earth conversation on at least my stream, where I'm gonna, I am gonna start. You'll notice it where I start kind of going away from that topic. Um, yeah, I, I am one of those assholes. I do use flat earth in my in my title because I know we will get flat earthers here. Sorry. <laughs> but the realization is there's a lot going There's a lot more we can be talking about than the same shit over and over again. Yeah, George today went off in a direction I didn't expect. I, I didn't think he was going to go that way talking about the explosives and trying to relate them to you know, fast moving airplanes and the energy content of jet fuel and crap like that. And that, that stuff is very important. Only thing I have with, with George is that I think George is very government is good. Government loves us. <laughs> <laughs> and, and have you ever that, watched his channel? Any of this any of the stuff on his channel? No, nah, not 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 too much. He's uh he's one of the what I you remember how I said people that yell and, and do all that kind of stuff kind of turned me away from their information. That's kind of where he was with me. Um, you, probably, you may have really good sound stuff, but that I, but you know, early, you know, months ago he ruined that. Um, but if he's calmed down, I'd, I'd love to watch his stuff. He's a super smart guy. Yeah. And again, that's, that's one of the issues I had with him. It's like, it, it, it pisses me off when these guys that are, are clearly very smart, very smart, but can't just relax for two seconds without calling someone something, you know, or taking something too far or out of context and blowing up. It's just, just talk, man. Just get all your information out because you're smart. That's what I just wish you would do. Hey, I call out there against fight the deception. Please post if you're going to post a link to an article. Please post a full article, not one behind a paywall to where we just have a leading abstract. Or please post something, or please post something that is not paid for by an anti-vax group. It doesn't even have to be paid for by a pharmacy, by a pharmacy either. Just post something that has very limited amount of bias in its funding mechanism. At least for your own research, fight the deception, and because if you're only looking for uh, vax are bad videos. You're only going to get vax or bad. You're not going to get the other side of it. I know he's actually publishing uh, from uh, PubMed. The only issue is that PubMed does everything. So it's one of those things to where you can actually find complete junk on PubMed. Oh, okay. It's one of those. Okay. So it's the source, not the... You're, no. or you're more reluctant to look at the information anyway because of it. Oh, no. I mean, I'm grateful to look at something on PubMed. I'm reluctant to look at something that says it was funded by the Dowski Foundation. The who? Uh, the Dowski Foundation. They're a, they're a big. I see. They're that's the uh, chair of this foundation. Is uh one of the, is on the panel for uh, is on the panel for um, fighting against vaccines. I can't remember which let's see, which um let's see which particular group it is. I said it's PubMed. Fight the deception. Yeah. I, I the thing is is I don't 
I don't really know too much about that, uh, the Vax argument. Um, only in the fact that, I mean, I have my questions about it and the, its issues um, when it comes to infants, I guess you would say, rather than the mass majority of vaccines. But uh, I, I told him earlier because he had said something to me about Vax, and I told him I would love to talk about them. I just don't know anything about them. I wouldn't have a dog in the fight. And uh, Fight the Deception, I get those are PubMeds, but most of what you're posting are abstract only. And when you go to the, when you go to the DOI, they're behind a paywall. Nobody's gonna pay fifty-five bucks to read an article. Wants to read this article? Yeah, that, that's kind of an issue. And you can if uh, you can put almost bullshit into those, and as long as you're getting paid for people to read it, you don't care. It's one I of mean, those. It's one of those things to where um, let's see, the majority of these "quote unquote" studies are actually what we call um, synthesis studies or literature reviews. Very, very few of the vaccines are bad or actually are actual primary research. They are. So you can uh, essentially cherry pick to make a literature a literature uh, review. Okay, I see. Uh, uh, but Brian, uh, do you have do you have me added on Skype or, or yes, I do. Or Discord? Yeah, yeah. Uh, shoot me later on today or tomorrow. Shoot me a personal message. I'm gonna try to contact Mr. Grimm if that's okay with you. I would yeah. like you and Mr. Grimm have a talk about vaccines one on one on my channel. Just taking your time, you know. Hey Jose, I can get that. I'll, I'll, because, I can get that yeah. going for you. I I can have a personal message with Grim and he'll respond to me. I'll let him know you're looking. Yeah, for yeah. Him. I, I I got him on Discord too. You know, oh, he's okay. cool yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. He appreciate it when he see these subjects going. He click and he join quick. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah, because I I want I'm gonna have Grim on. I've already talked to him about it. I just gotta figure out when and we gotta coordinate because he's he's obvious he's Electric Universe as well and I know nothing about it but I want to hear it. And the fact yeah. that and I, at I, least like that. I know I like on vaccines, yeah, he has done a lot of research on vaccines and he got a lot of oh, yeah. sources. So that's what I like. At least he's going to present some kind of evidence. And um, Brian, if you got a mm. counter argument, that would be fucking beautiful. Yeah, I would love just, it. Just, just know, Brian, that uh, Grim goes hard in the paint when it comes to vaccines. Um, I think he's a little emotionally attached to it. Not emotionally attached to it, uh, emotionally biased. But he, he will pose a good argument, though. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, I, don't, it, I doubt that he'll that will do that. I'll keep that in mind. I don't yeah. usually do debate. Usually, I just do uh, info sessions. But I might is it might actually do my first real debate soon. Yeah, he he he. You know, so he has a lot of information about it. Um, if anything, I think <laughs> his his issue with sources is that he'll source you something that's a novel and he knows you won't read or he thinks you won't read. Um, but he, I'd say. 30% of the time, he doesn't read the article in full, and we'll, you, you can catch him that way. But, uh, yeah, he, I mean, he's he's anti-vax big time. And I understand being scared of vaccines because it is something strange going into your body. I understand the idea of vaccine injuries um, messing, with people's mind, uh, messing with people's minds about them. By and large, and pretty much every study confirms this, is that the injury rate from vaccines and the complications – are less are less than are less than the outcomes that we that you would have from people having the disease. Okay, in in that sense of it, um, I'll kind of go towards you know what I have issues for. Um, like for instance, like I was saying, I don't really have a dog in the fight because I don't know enough. But at the same time, it's like a uh, so when the baby is born. They, mm -hmm. they want to give them vaccines, right? My question is, is how do you test those? Or how are those, how do you know that a, a, a giving an infant a certain vaccine isn't dangerous or doesn't cause these certain things to happen? Um, or is there just not enough to know? Oh, well, there's plenty enough to know. It's actually referred to as phase, as phase four for testing. Because when, when something hits the market, it's not done being tested. You always do an ongoing study of everything that hits the market, which is what, I see, which is why we now know that um, thalidomide is a terrible thing to give a pregnant woman and how it got a black box. is because studies were done. Is it, it's something that wasn't accounted for whenever it was being first given because the study population didn't include pregnant women. Hey, you got a super chat, Sean. All right, I'm getting to it right now. Ah, oh, Earth is seriously flat. Thank you for the two dollars, sir. Uh, let's unite and send Sasha to the ISS. 
Agree. Start to go fund me. <laughs> <laughs> Just start to go fund me and we'll be good to go. And here's the thing. We have gotten things wrong before and people have been injured. It's just one of the, it's just one of those things to where and even as and even in the case of um, people saying uh, thimerosal and mercury all this time, we don't. Need, it's a, it was such a big deal and it becomes such a big buzzword, even though the st- even though the major- the vast majority of studies showed no causal linkage, and not even really any and not any correlation that made sense. We just took it out of vaccines. Like you can only is it, like I think there's only one or two vaccines that have thimerosal in it at all anymore. One of them is the flu shot, and we have variants that don't have thimerosal in it that you can request on demand. Okay. So, so, so it, it's it's uh, so a lot of what's going on is is misinformation. It's just clear misinformation about how things are done. Because I've never yeah. heard that from. But- yeah, let's let's get. I mean, just as a disclaimer, uh, this is my point of view. There's nobody that have the opposite view, a uh, counter argument. So, hey, you got you got free will to tell how beautiful and good the mm-hmm. vaccines are. I don't mm-hmm. bite in none of that shit. I haven't done any research, and it's just my personal opinion, just to say it out there. You know, but at the same I listen to it, and it's interesting, and I appreciate the information. No, you're entitled to that opinion, and I can't make you get a vaccine, nor do I want to make you get one. I'm uh, honestly I'm partial to the opt-out system. Is that you get one unless you've got a good reason to not to not want it? Well, do you do you feel that like? Um... I wish everybody would get it because herd immunity is a thing, but I understand that people have conflicts, and I understand that people have conflicts. I understand there are people who can't be vaccinated. I that's it. And I said, it's just when people get to the point to where to where they fear monger over vaccine, that's where I have the biggest issue. Yes, because because what happens is, or for instance, would you say? So I'll give you how, where I'm at with it. For instance, um, my son was born. We didn't want to give him vaccine. It kind of get, makes me nervous. Um, when it comes down to uh, what I think it was his. Six, he was about six or seven was his first vaccine. And that's more because, uh, you know, he's going to be around kids and he's in school. And, and, and the reality is, to me at least, is that vaccines do work. Can't say they don't, because if they didn't, we'd have a shit ton of situ- uh, uh, viruses and diseases still running amok. And we don't. And if you say, well, that's because of this, well, you can go to third world countries and see because they don't have the money and the infrastructure with these vaccines that those diseases are still running amok. So you can't say vaccines don't work. You can't. Yeah. And to answer McKinsey in the uh, chat, you need to be worried occasionally because vaccines have one, one major weak point insofar as the way they trigger us with the way they trigger immunity, your immune system can get lazy and you can go into sub sub threshold for immunity given enough time. And that is a known complication. That is it. What's well, not a known complication. That is a known effect. And it's one of those things. That's why they recommend boosters, especially if you're in a medical profession, you'll get a booster for MMR about every 15 to 20 years because mumps in particular, for some reason, the human body does not like to keep that antibody. Even if you've had even if you've had mumps um, previously in your life, it doesn't like to keep the natural antibody, and you can get a subacute case. I want to say thank you again, Earth of Sirius for the super chat. He said, uh, "Learn MMS protocol, Jim hum- Humble, and avoid vaccines." MMS mm-hmm. protocol is bleach. <laughs> say, say it again. MMS protocol is actually bleach. You're using two chemicals combined together to create. Um, an actual bleaching agent that they use to turn wood pulp into white paper. So in, er, in the chat, um, MG42 uh, Pillbox says, vaccines work. Oh, boy. So are you saying that they don't work at all, MG42? <laughs> that, that, that's, that'd be because I get because I agree. I also think that we are in the situation of uh, not knowing everything there is to know about what the effects of vaccines but at the same time you can't say they don't work it's actually kind of funny um it's in the cases where mmr does have a waning effect uh, specifically in the case of measles people who manage to get the measles after they've been vaccinated after they've been vaccinated 
they don't get a, they don't get measles to such a case to where they're infectious even. It's actually really interesting. But there are noted cases where people who have been vaccinated for measles have wound up with a case of measles, but it's been so mild they haven't even they haven't even um, considered the fact that they have a disease at that point. Well, that's a, is there? See, I mean, I, I don't know. Have, are there anti-vaxxers that say altogether vaccines don't work at all, or is it the, the risk that the, their their argument is? And what is section thirteen? What is section thirteen? <laughs> no, like A. McKenzie say, this is interesting. Mm. I, I haven't heard this. Every single vaccine insert in, and then in parentheses, this product has not been tested and will never be tested for carcinogenic or repro reproductive implications. Have fun with that. Okay, see, so they, they haven't been tested against uh, like uh, cigarettes and. Uh, Birth, birthing type stuff, I guess. That's exactly what that is. They haven't. This is, these ones have not been tested as birth control. They have not been tested. At, they have not been tested um, against cancers or as additives or as, as synergistic or um, or reductive versus these two things. Is there a reason uh, for well, it? Usually, or? Well, usually those are, usually those are on vaccines that you get in childhood where you're not of reproductive age yet. Ah, uh, okay. And you're, and you're and you're not smoking. <laughs> Now, how long is the lasting effect? Like, so, say, uh, or what what ages are they doing, getting these ones? Uh, most vaccines are actually given before the age of four. Doing okay. Yeah. And you're giving us uh, before. As people were always saying, like, uh, look, by the time your child's eighteen months, they'll have a hundred injections. That's incorrect. By two years, the, by two years, they'll have thirty-two. If you get all of them. Yeah, that's correct. I got zero. Well, I can tell you now, my son's 11, and he didn't get shots until 5, 6, so. <laughs> oh, he got he got to be conscious of the fact that he got a bunch of them. Then. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, F him, well, man. Well, the, the pain of my wallet. <laughs> he deserves something. I, I would just only get one at a time when I was there. Like, we need to get these. I'm like, ah, uh, let's see. I'll look up which one be the less important one, and I'll say, "Yeah, let's get this one now." Okay. Um, <laughs> and did they give babies have B vaccine? Did they give babies have B vaccine because babies just recently came out of a place to where they had a lot of contact with blood, and um, B is yeah. primarily trans transmitted by blood. Okay, I, I got something for you in the chat. So, uh, MG42 pillbox says, uh, "Remember, this is the one that was uh, kind of mocking me, saying that they do work." He said, "The human body." can produce clonial to, or chlorine 2. Uh, no, Sean, vaccines have no validity. No study can even give one example of one case that it worked. We've seen many cases of people being poisoned or debilitated. That's just so stupid. It doesn't bother a response. There you go. please. The only thing that's correct in there is that the human body can, as it can occasionally produce chlorine. That's accurate. There are chlorine items and is it in your body? So then... That, that doesn't so, mean that doesn't mean that it's producing bleach, which so is a what, chloride. Yeah. So what he did is he basically gave himself validation, and then used that validation to pose his validation for everything else in that sense. Correct. <laughs> okay. Because like I said, I, again, I I don't have a fight in this one. I don't know. I don't know anything about vax to make mm. this to make a, a a valid point behind them. Now, you guys that don't like them, just join the military. They'll teach you how to love vaccines. <laughs> well, when I, lots of shots. Lots when, of them. when I came here to the U.S., um, that was, I, wanted, I wanted to work at a hospital, and uh, they wanted to have the records of my vaccination. So my mom dug through and found the paperwork, and uh, otherwise they want to put me all the all the vaccinations I didn't know I had or whatever. They, they, well, they didn't know, yeah. So, But uh, luckily, uh, I had the... Uh, the, the report to all the vaccinations I had when I was a kid. So all I got was a tetanus uh, shot. Uh, I guess you're supposed to get it, what, every 10 years? Supposedly. Well, you're supposed to have, I mean, in Puerto Rico, you're supposed to have four when you were five years old. Yeah. And okay. they happen when you are like five or six years old. And I skipped those. I had a medical condition and I was in the hospital for like two months. 
And when I got out, that was the season where they put the vaccine. So I skipped those. And my vaccine paper is clean. As for today, knock on wood, I'm, I'm happy, I'm strong, I'm healthy. As for right now, I don't need any vaccine. I've never been even flu shot ever in my life. And I will plan yeah. on not doing it until I, unless I pass out and something happens, they take me and it's bad. I mean, and I have to to get a shot or, or against my will if I'm passed out, you know. But yeah, I, I, I don't propose, I, I'm not a proponent of pro or con vaccines. Uh, my personal opinion, uh, well, nobody needs them okay. <laughs> because you could be you could be strong as a rock if you don't take them, just as healthy as if you take them. Or, so don't take or, them. Or you just haven't been exposed to, to those things that you have to worry oh, about. Yeah. Um, Brian, are you watching the chat? Because uh, it's kind of now between you and Pillbox as far as I can see. Because I don't know I, what you're talking about. I don't even really care to respond to him because if he thinks that there, there's literally no vaccine that's prevented someone from getting sick, that's just a person who's trolling at that point. Okay. Because Again, uh, yeah. Because medical professionals are vaccinated all the time, and we almost never come down with anything that we see in the hospital. Then he'll get a vaccine against it. Rat with rabies. See what happens. <laughs> yeah. See what we have a rabies vaccine. Is there? Yeah, we have yeah. a rabies vaccine. It's yeah, uh, great. Let him get bit by uh, the guy on the chat. Let him get bit by one of those and be like, well, since you don't believe in vaccines, you're going to have to die. <laughs> yeah. Or, or, or you, you would have to actually physically do, administer or give them rabies. He, I don't think he's going to go out to get rabies if he thinks yeah, vaccines don't, don't work. Yeah. <laughs> what he's basically asking for is for us to do something unethical and set up a situation where we attempt to infect people who have been vaccinated. And the reason why you won't see studies like that is it is unethical to attempt to get people sick. <laughs> uh, monkey and the monkey just did a super chat and he said, I, I appreciate that monkey. He says, uh, Antarctic treaty forbids vaccines curing polio. I don't know if he's trolling or he's serious. He's not a troll. Seriously flat about that. Okay. okay. I don't think he's a troll though. He, monkey's not a troll though. I know him. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah, got vaccinated uh, a few months ago for a uh, whooping cough because I have a new grandson. Did it, did it vaccinate you in your butt? Congratulations. No. So what? What's it, what's it in the Botox? Uh, whooping cough is what I what no, I No, no, I was saying, did they, did they inject you in the Botox or the arm? Oh, no, in the arm. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't think you want to get uh, your gorilla's Botox. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to address I'm, something. Hey, what's... So what's causing, I want to address something. What's causing the increase on autism? Somebody asked and somebody answered. Better diagnostic criteria. I call that bullshit because back in the day, there was no autism like that. There Ooh. was, there were, hold on, there was uh. hyper, hyper, hyper active kids and all over the place, smack them bitches with a chancleta, with a belt. And they belt. Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think you could, can, you can classify ADHD as an autism. No, no. Yeah, the, yeah. Spectrum, the spectrums have overlapping features, and, but they are not related. And and so you know, I, I actually was what you would consider a ADHD baby, uh, born and raised on Ritalin, <laughs> um, the, taken off taken off of it by it my was father. Not, there was no and, ADHD. And, that's a new term. Yeah, that's it. That's a modern no, no, term. Well, it was ADD. I didn't it, it before. Well, it yeah. was ADD before. What? It was ADD. Just... Now we don't have ADD. Now we only have ADHD. Yeah. Well, what it was is it was ADD. And then ADD explained everything, but then they had to explain why kids were hyper out of school and it had nothing to do with their learning disabilities. Um, and when reality, what it was, was ADD in those ADD times work. was a, a people needing to figure out methods of teaching children certain things. That's, 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 that, that's how it was for me. My, my dad took me off Ritalin when I was eight and, and realized that it had nothing to do with my hyperactivity. It had everything to do with my activity outside of school. On you? Uh, no. Or, yeah, a couple times, but, Yo, but Alan, not very often. Cut that master shit out. No reason for this. <laughs> and um, basically, I, I was taken off of Ritalin, and it worked based on just learning how to uh, effectively learn. You probably stop a, 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 a future possible school shooting there. <laughs> Possibly. Um, one of the I things. Mean, I, don't think, I don't think anyone's actually saying ADHD is bullshit. I think they may be saying that it's overdiagnosed. Oh, it is yeah, 100%. Yeah, I think that's absolutely. the point is over, over, I mean, yes. yeah. It, it, it's become a, um, a, a crutch for parents or the, even for the kids. I think it's a lot of distractions now. Well, distractions, oh, a lot of things. 
video oh, games, like, uh, YouTube. Amy, Amy Anita, <laughs> clarification: Are you saying your son is um, is ADD, or are you saying your son is autistic? I, I think I saw something up at the top, and I think I've got something backwards. Yeah, I, I've, I think I've, if I remember correctly, talking to her, um, I think she was against against ADHD medication. I, if I don't remember. Who me? No, no, we we're talking about Amy in the chat. I mean, personally, for me, I, if my son was diagnosed with it, or he wouldn't because I wouldn't take him in to get diagnosed with that, i just put him in sports. Well, fight the deception. If you actually knew um, how the DSMs were updated, you would know that it is becoming increasingly easier to diagnose autism and, and spectrum-associated disorders. How? Oh, okay, We've changed Sorry about that, Amy. the diagnostic criteria. We're more aware of it now. And then on top of everything else, Reporting wasn't really easy back in the day. Back in the day, and a lot of the times, people who have had profound issues wound up in, in in asylums. Like it's very different nowadays. And it's very different today than it used to. It, it is. You know what? I'm really, really against against uh, that. The parents are not the ones uh, taking the kids to be diagnosed to the hospital. It's the fucking school because the teachers or whoever wants to fucking send the kids because of he's not, he's not paying attention to the class. He's doing a little drooling. Oh, he's got some issues. We got to send him to the hospital. He's the paper that you have to take him. And they make the parents do shit in the school because of reasons that I call that bullshit is the parents decision, not the school decision. To, to an extent. Again, but, yeah. I, no, no. Well, here's the thing, because again, I was part of that. I, I honestly believe in what Jose is also correct. I think um, a lot of uh, school districts need to realize there are different methods to teach teaching every other student. There's not one method, and I think that's where the issue becomes lies in. A kid's going going to get bored. He's going to do other things than he's supposed to do if he is not interested in the topic that's being discussed. You have to figure out the methods of teaching a child. Sometimes you just need crayons. Hey, all of the above. <laughs> like, uh, it's just a name, uh, <laughs> quad eraser. Quad eraser. Let, oh, me, let me use crayons for you, you crayon muncher. Sorry. It, it, it's just the realization that um, it, 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 it's I honestly, I, I think it's more of a, uh, a, a blanket, so to speak, I guess. Uh, when it comes to ADHD medication, AD, ADD med medication, um, for not having to think of new solutions as as school districts or even as parents, it's just a lazy solution, uh, temporary yeah. solution, and not. not yeah. I mean, and and let's not say all of it is bullshit. Um, oh, yeah, I, no, no. I I have ha met kids that are that do realistically have uh, attention deficit disorder where they just cannot focus. You can come with a hundred different ways of uh, teaching them something and they just can't. Um, but again, I think I would even go as far as saying 60% of the diagnosis are, are, are not, not what needed to be done in my opinion, hundred percent, my opinion over the past, 10, 20 years, we'll say. Does that kind of sound kind of correct? <laughs> Everyone just went quiet on me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was reading something. Okay, my bad. I, I just wanted to make sure. I was like, did I just say something wrong? Like, we lost half of the panel. <laughs> uh, okay, um, but yeah, it, it's. It, and here's the, the real realization of it. I, I honestly, and, and I, it could be wrong. I, I don't think anybody 100% knows. I think it's too impossible. I don't think anyone could ever 100% know. Does it cause autism? Does it not? You know what um, I mean? What does think, cause it? Because I don't think it's one thing. I don't think it's any of these one things. It's absolutely not one thing. Like we know, I, I, um, we know currently five different um, genetic, does it genetic, um, causes of Asperger's, which is a part of the autism spectrum. While not being entire while a lot of people wouldn't consider it autism, it does belong to the same spectrum. And don't aren't there a lot of these cases or a lot of these um, situations of autism aren't isn't it kind of a lot of studies going out saying that there's a lot of them that lay dormant or or 
or, or, or a certain person may not show um, signs of it, but will pass it on to their to their to their uh, uh, children. Uh, for genetic causes, yeah, we call that penetrance. Just because you have the gene doesn't always mean that you express it. Not every gene is what we refer to as one hundred percent penetrant. So, no. so realistically, it is a right now we're in that 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 point where it's a hundred percent study. Uh, or not studies, but um, oh, we're not even close to understanding um, its mechanism yet. Genetics, okay, yeah, that's what I meant. Fresh field in terms of molecular genetics, that it's uh, I can't even begin to go into it. I it, do know that everybody's looking for the. Everyone's looking for a cure. The person is it. Everyone's looking for a cure. Everyone's looking for a way to fix it, and the person who finds it is going to is going to win a huge amount of money in a Nobel Prize, and the company that buys it off of them is going to make even more money. So do, you, so do you think that's the uh, that's the um, the leg that non-vax people stand on? The fact that we can't, like for instance, uh, we don't know everything there is to know about gravity. So that makes people think they have a leg to stand on when we say we can't prove gravity. Well, same thing with vax. We can't prove they help, and we can't prove they don't because it's we're so like, you're still learning so much, right? Yeah, we have we have all sorts of evidence that as it that kids don't as it don't die all over because of the damn uh, as it because of the measles anymore. Mind you, it was still a low amount, but people still died from it at a greater amount than even the vaccine than even the vaccine risk is. Like it's it's not even a comparable number, honestly. Mm. How are you doing, Maxwell? Yeah, it, it's vaccines are against God. I just, I just want to, I just want to agree with you. I'd say eighty percent, Sean. Mm. I was before the ADD and the ADHD came out, and I used to get teased in school, and they'd call me hyper boy and this and that, and I would have been diagnosed with ADHD mm. or ADD in a heartbeat. The problem is, is that the teachers, you, there's still time. <laughs> the teachers, the teachers don't know how to teach. They don't know how to how to keep a child interested in a specific subject. Well, well you can't, I don't think, I don't think you can blame the teachers because the, uh, I know a lot of schools force teachers to teach in a certain method or a certain way. Um, I, I was lucky. I actually had a lot of, a lot of teachers that were uh, like a one-on-ones where the teachers would actually work with me and how I needed to learn, but you can't do that with a thousand kids in the school, you know, in, in, in one school. Um, I think a lot of the, you know, make classrooms smaller helped. I think uh, they did a lot of, you know, a lot of these uh, after school programs help. But the realization is, is that, um, again, I, I think these methods need to be changed of teaching before a diagnosis. You know what I mean? I think kids are need, need to go through, well, I think like kids would need to go through testing in different multitudes of ways of learning these things rather than just, uh, they don't get this way, ADHD. You know what I mean? Uh, they'd rather have them walking around drooling. Yeah, and that's the problem. Um, that actually, it's it's kind of ironic that you say that because what ended up happening to me is I actually was quote unquote overdosed, and I went to a private school, and uh, my parents came and picked me up, and I was sleeping at my desk, and that's not what it's for. <laughs> and uh, the the nuns they figured that's what it was for. So it, it, it's one of those things where. It, there's the give and takes and, and the realizations of it. I personally do think that when you give a child one of these, you know, Ritalin or nowadays it's Adderall, um, it's a dangerous step. It's dangerous. Yeah, aren't, aren't college kids popping these Adderalls and stuff to focus? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've yeah. seen a kid. I've seen a kid that's he, he he was bragging about how much he took and he would he look like a damn whatever that video that Q was showing a, a fraca. Fraca? Oh, Flocka, Fraca? yeah, that's a yeah. crazy. The guy was like just wigged out, man. I was like, really, dude? Yeah, it, it, but that, I mean, you can't blame that on the ADHD epidemic. You got that's again part partially parents and partially the person themselves. Oh, I'm gonna make a direct correlation to the introduction of ADHD and then subsequently medications and then uh, school shootings because school shooters often have that issue yeah but the problem with that is that they're all diagnosed far before they would ever be able to use that for a uh for that 
that that correlation though, wouldn't it? What? So a lot of these kids are are diagnosed with ADHD and all this stuff far and before they actually medicine, happens. And then they shoot up their school. Yeah, but I don't yeah, think like it's Adam Lanza. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see. Okay, I took I I heard. And that's more psychotropic drugs. What do you mean? Who was the guy that shot up the uh, Colorado movie theater? That guy. Uh, I'm just gonna say, like, like with children, it's like, like I don't know what to call it because I'm not very good with sciencey words, but it's like a control dude that reacts quickly to change because children react quickly to change. So if you're gonna introduce something new like this concept of ADHD, and then introduce something new to treat this new concept a pill uh and then you get a result also that's new like school shootings you know mm. well in that case it'd be Girl, like um, a very little correlation with uh well, so, i think yeah, giving children, yeah. uh drugs to alter their minds is not good yeah but wouldn't but you also say but it's really the major too i'm sorry i'm stepping on you sean go ahead no no no, no. um well trust me if you on this I'm topic on me too but well, sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. But, but I'm just saying, Brian, it, it, this topic, step all over whatever I say, because I don't know. But I would say more of there's got to be some kind of correlation when it comes to video games then when it comes to these school shootings. You know, there's actually mixed results on that. Yeah, there's not really any solid evidence of that. Well, are there more school shootings now than there was, say, 15 years ago? There is. <laughs> then yeah, but how do you – I mean – uh, of course, there's going to be more school shootings. The population's increased or mass. Yeah, and also, so. also, whenever they do a, a numbers about school shootings, they'll grab any event that has the weather going to happen uh, a certain distance to a school, and they'll throw it in the mix. Yeah. So it's not even accurate. But then we're talking, but then we're talking about the media now. Yeah, it's yeah. really going to depend a lot on how things are reported, what's being reported, and what's going on with it. It's hard to know unless you're really deep in the numbers, and I don't have all that information. It's very similar to saying that um, the average temperature of the Earth is is in correlation with the number of pirates that exist on Earth. Back when we had more <laughs> pirates, uh, see the global temperatures were cooler. And somebody's actually made a, a very interesting graph about that. But it's one of those things where correlation and causation are not necessarily the same thing. Understand? Yeah, I get that. Yeah, that makes sense too. Yeah. I like that. That makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, another one that they like to use is um, ice cream causes crime because more ice cream is sold in summer and more crimes are committed in summer. Yep. But are these studies that are actually out? Uh, they're they're mo see they're mock studies and they're actually really funny. Okay. Yeah, like how many people a year die by vending machines? <laughs> uh, like in the case of one falling or something, or yeah. anything of, of in that realm. Something that's actually like that. a, that's actually a retroactive study. Retrospective, sorry. <laughs> you can design you do about anything. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to Google the crap out of all that shit tonight. Ridiculous <laughs> studies I can find. Um, guys, I'm going to go ahead and in this one. Um, I, I mean, again, from the Rumpus Challenge, thank you. Uh, Menace, uh, I'm going to actually. Okay, I that you didn't. Menace and Tesla's Apple one. What? Carlos. Carlos, we're going to yeah. talk later, buddy. You're the winner always. Okay. <laughs> you're, always my, you're, you're always number one, Carlos. Oh, Sean, uh, before you go. Yes. Uh, check, let's see, check out that link that Monkey Sage just put in the chat. It's a very good, um, it's a very good representation of spur, spurless, uh, spurious correlations. Ah, uh, Okay. Honey producing bee colonies, inversing co correlations with juvenile arrest and position of marijuana. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Is that so? That is this whole site ded dedicated to that? I have no idea. Oh wait. Let me see something. I'm trying to see if it did what I just thought it. Wait, is this like a? What? I'm so confused. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna find it. Okay. A, okay, I found it. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a bunch of different studies. Number of people who drowned by falling into a pool correlates with films Nicolas Cage appeared in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. 
divorce rate in Maine per capita consumption of margarine? Oh, fake butter? Bullshit. <laughs> hey, but hey, if you look at these, what these things are, I, I'm assuming that the numbers are right. Are right. Is this how ridiculous they are to be so close? Yeah. Age of Miss America correlates with murders by steam, not vapors, and hot objects. Or hot vapors yeah. and hot objects. Oh, yeah. They're hot. Total revenue generated by arcades correlates with computer science doctorates awarded in uh, see, that one's retarded that one's actually probably accurate <laughs> yeah i know i want one that's good <laughs> um, okay, guys, like, like there's totally this website um from the nra that uh says that there's absolutely a corresponding rise of antidepressants in school shootings yeah and i, and I would agree with that those, those like a lot of are screwed. Sorry, those things mess with the chemistry of your brain, man. Yeah, we shouldn't give that shit to kids. I agree. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that that website is awesome. I think uh, I'm gonna start reading a few of these off before and after each stream, or beginning and towards the end, but not tonight. I've already read some. Um, but I am going to end this because I'm getting a little tired. I've been on a lot longer than I thought it would be. Um, especially um, anyone who's in the chat or anybody here on the panel that's been watching. Um, we The stream's been running good. No buffering at all or anything? Or a question or a statement? It's a question. Oh, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I just got here. Well, because what what it is, like I said, I, I it's a new setup on my for my computer, and that's why I'm like I'm running in four in four uh, eighty p, not anything higher than that, um, because I wasn't sure. But if I'm not buffering at all, that means tomorrow I can run, you know, seven twenty or ten eighty, and not worry. Sean, and else is great. Yes, channel. Tell them that I'm fourteen subs away from five hundred. Yeah, halfway. <laughs> You're fourteen steps away from five hundred. Fourteen subs oh 14 That's, oh really yes, just create 14 fake email accounts no go down in my description i'll go to my description right now get that link to channel q and i'll put it in the chat and say if you haven't already you guys need to go and subscribe to channel q damn it demand it no, you stay with me. You're not Thank you. No problem. So yeah, please go do that. Just put the link in the chat. I'm going to put that there. Yes, please go out there and subscribe. Damn it, hurry. Isn't now. there a bot you can pay for that adds subs to your channel? Yeah, but the, <laughs> but the YouTube algorithm, every quarter, they, they search for them bastards. And if you notice, people... Um, so like you know when they have their their sub count showing, if you ever see a good a big sub count and then every once in a while you start seeing sub counts just loot like just go down big time, YouTube catches that and they they take all your subs. That's funny. That's how you can tell. That's another way of telling if people buy subs. At least twice a year you'll see their counts just drop dramatically. Unless they're above ten thousand, because then after ten thousand they don't count anymore, and they and they they wait for those thousand, the thousand mark, um, and so you'll see ten k the whole time until they get to eleven k, and those ones are a little harder to notice when people are doing it. Well, well, that's why no one sub subs to you, Lenny. Who the fuck are you anyway? <laughs> he, he always comes like he's like the leader of the crew here. I'm not doing that, so you shouldn't. Who the fuck is Lenny? I don't know. Um, he lives near you know who. Ah. Uh, Who's you know who? Lenny better well, watch himself. Ooh, yeah. Hey, channel. I gotta. I, I gotta message you in the Discord. I think I. Yeah, we'll talk about those message you, but I gotta see if yeah. maybe it seems accurate. Um, oh yeah, see, it happened again. I kept talking. Uh, I got him get out of here, guys. I'm tired. Dude, um, Puerto Rico has a Hayabusa police motorcycle. Thank That's you. Right. Have a good night. Tomorrow, <laughs> one fourteen. Don't miss it. Yeah. One fourteen. Um, 
Oh yes, Jose show one fourteen. Mm-hmm. Open discussion. Oh wow. Um, I'll be there, Jose. Definitely. Again, I apologize for not being around, um, but I will definitely be there in the morning. Um, again, I see a, in our I see in our flat Earth globe features people's these type of conversations being more relevant than anything, and I like I prefer to stay around these conversations than repeating the same evidence showing that we live on a globe. Um, unless you guys have, unless some flat earther has evidence worth hearing, uh, the, the, uh, most of the streams are going to end up like this, where I may discuss it for the first half a second and then stream into something better. Yep. Um, again, uh, anybody got anything coming up? Uh, Jose, for tomorrow, you're going to be talking. Uh, you're trying to get that debate going, or is it uh, just open and you'll see yeah, where it goes? Uh, yeah, it's going to be up, and I'll check in the morning, an hour before the show, and see if anybody gave me a holler on my personal messages for uh, something special. If not, I'll just kick it off and see where it goes, just organically. I'll let awesome, it happen, awesome. man. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely mm-hmm. be there. Um, channel, you got anything new coming up? Yeah, tomorrow I'll probably get a live stream. Okay, perfect. From my perfect. new Discord. Awesome. Channel... Send send me a link. Sarah, how old are you? And, well, then if you want to put the... Have you put the link in the chat, or are you... Uh... I don't know if my Discord can be safe for underage people, because I can't be there all the time. Okay. Understandable. And there are people in there like Merle. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that... I just, so I, I just want, that I just want to... the link for the archives that I have on the server i just have a list of every server oh as um, i as i don't need to, to be join. on your list kid yeah yeah uh if you find it then so be it if you hit that link no. if you agree so be it but uh, i get what i get what q's saying no yeah, no responsibility agree. yeah yeah it, it's i understand um yeah whereas in mine is very because like i just started it and i don't know what it's gonna be like yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I understand, Sasha. It, it's, it's from a good place. Trust me. Um, anybody else? Uh... I don't like kids. <laughs> <laughs> Just get that out the way now. Uh, Maxwell, got anything going on, or you want to say anything? Final words? Yeah, Puerto Rico has Hayabusa motorcycles for the police. <laughs> <laughs> Deja That's <vu>. crazy. <laughs> Why? Dude, they, Where are they the going? Police, the police in Nicaragua, they actually had AK 47s. Damn. Hey, that's not playing. Yeah. That's not whatever was left over from the Civil War back when the Sandinistas were. Damn. Oh, Hashtag free the frogs. I'm out. Hashtag free the frogs for real. Um, Sasha, did you want to go over anything about the Discord or uh, do you want to say anything? Uh, No. When did you want to? Uh, I took this baby and go to sleep. Make that. Would you be able to? to well, give me a second, stay here, and then I won't. And I won't leave uh, the hangout, and we'll talk about it in a second. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and end. So I'm gonna mute you guys for right now, and then that way, uh, no one will hear you. Um, I will hear you. So please don't talk to me because I can't talk to you because I'll be trying to end the stream, and you won't hear me because I'm muting you guys. Or I'm muting myself. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Goodbye. Yeah. Q, sorry yeah. for stepping on you there at the end. Yeah, I was so, just trying to fight with the audience for a second. These. My bad. Okay. So, guys, I appreciate you guys being here. I do apologize for the lag in the in the, uh, s- the spread of me being here. You know, uh, consistently. It will be consistent again. Um, I do appreciate Tesla's Apple and Menace for the Rumpus Challenge. Uh, we're going to do some more stuff like that soon. And then... Uh, uh, we'll figure out what they want as their gift between the AMC and the uh, in the other uh, the Best Buy gift card stuff. And then I'm gonna start. I'm actually gonna do a lot more of these, um, especially because you guys are um, you guys are actually doing a lot to contribute to this with the super chats, and I appreciate the hell out of it. So I, it, it's only a must that I feel that I need to be doing this. So I do appreciate that, guys. That people who have been adding to those super chats and. Um, to YouTube, who pays me with the ads? What? I'm just kidding. Um, I'll be on tomorrow. Uh, 
I'm not sure 100 percent what time uh but it will be around my normal time you know noon pacific time if not um, maybe a little bit later but um, i won't be stepping on channel q's toes or nothing so um if you guys are waiting for that uh, like i will be um i'll be there for that um so i'm probably gonna be sometime after jose um but again you guys will see me around I'm just ranting now um I'll probably see most of you guys around tonight. You know, I'm always in and out of different servers or YouTube channels. Um, so I'll see you guys around there. And then um, see you guys tomorrow, really. Um, I'm going to try to get on Jose's panel, but I'll be listening in at the very least. Uh, again, thank you, everyone that came in. Amy, thank you. Uh, uh, I was going to say, um, Fight of Deception. Um, shoot me a, a message on YouTube or... Uh, discord or my email the truth army or truth frontline at outlook um we were actually supposed to debate some stuff and i kind of want to do that still so let me know and then uh we'll go from there um again guys go check out sasha's uh discord link it's got a whole new uh debate format that i think is going to really take off and all we need is get this word out and uh get, start you know getting stuff uh taken care of and it's gonna be awesome though thank you guys i'll see you guys tomorrow um with that i'm out Thank you.